we are. Hello, everybody. Hello. Good morning. Look at that sun. Wow. There is, um, yeah, the sun is rising, like, right in front of the window. And that is just so brightly orange. Goodness me. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. How are we all doing today? It's so good to see you all here. We are something like 80 people strong right now. That's amazing. And uh, it's just, it's great to be here on another day. I think we're like, what are we, about five weeks straight now we've been live streaming? Something like that. We've been doing a lot of live streaming. We've been going heavy. It started, really the big one started with the Pelican unboxing and the Pelican build. The Pelican live stream took nine and a half hours. And then we did quite a lot of other live streams. Hey, the, t the chat box is going above my face. What's going on there? That shouldn't be there. Let's move that down. Let's move you down. Oh, oh, I made it disappear. There we go. That should fix it. Okay. Ah, uh, they're all locked up. That's why. There we go. I'll move the chat box behind my face. It's meant to disappear behind me. So, come on. Come on. You want to go? There we go. Surely that should have fixed it. Either way, welcome everybody. Um, while I'm figuring out where to, where to put this chat box. That's weird. Chat box, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go behind me, chat box. Oh, that's funny. Come on. Come on. Well, while I'm trying to figure that out, let's actually... Uh, um, okay, let's make that invisible for a second. Well, welcome everybody either way. Welcome to the stream. It's so good to have you here this morning. Welcome to who we got Tiger Zone, Admiral Snack Bar, Tommy Gun Productions. Welcome to Pimpona Plays Ramos and Knuckle Sandwich Dude. Uh, and it's not a pre recorded message, Knuckle Sandwich Dude. Definitely not. I'm eagerly anticipating. I'm watching the chat box. Is it going to go above my face again? Yes, it is. Chat box, don't do this to me. Chat box, don't betray me like this. I thought I was your friend, chat box. There we go. It's gone behind now. Okay. Who else are we welcoming this morning on this blessed day? Welcome to Matty Dwyer and Alex E. Hogan. Welcome to Christian Valdez and Bam Bam Productions, my moderator, my king. Welcome, Bam Bam. He's becoming quite a little celebrity in the chat. I saw everyone really excited that he joined. Welcome to Mini FM and Lego Man 501 and Ollie Pad and Lego Brick 08, Wolfster, Red Rod Carl, and Tommy Gun Productions. Uh, thank you, Tommy Gun Productions. That's very nice of you. Um, I hope you will join me today. I, I don't know how much of this stream you'll join me for because let's let's get into that. We are going to be building the Defense Point Showdown, and it's um, we're going to build it for as long as it takes. All right, we don't mess around here at the domain. We don't half bake our live streams, so we are going to build this for as long as it takes. It might take three hours. It might take six. If I waffle too much, it might take longer. I don't know. Also, shout out to just my cut hands. I got a lot of cuts right now, as you can probably see on the video. Uh, we're also trying this brand new camera setup. I love it so much. Uh, I've got it like assembled with like two tripods. So it like jits right out into the middle of the table and I've flipped it. It looks fantastic. I'm really excited about it. And also I'm trying a new display out, this sort of like glitch theme. Let me know if you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, also please do not spam. Uh, my moderators, I cannot control my moderators. They're doing their own thing. If you start spamming, they will put you on mute because uh, a lot of people really get upset by spam. Okay, so we got the defense point showdown. And I'll tell you, I've already opened this box to get this guy out, my bad boy Hyperius. This guy is uh, is pretty crazy, and uh, I had to get this one out when the package arrived. I'm not a machine, you know. I had to I had to get this one straight out, and it does not disappoint. But also, it just it just makes your mind wonder about Halo Infinite. I don't know what's gonna go down in that game. Like he's clearly wearing like Spartan Palmer's helmet, and then also Spartan Locke's helmet on his shoulder. And I think there was a promotional material maybe on Amazon that listed him as the Spartan killer or something like that. There's some weird shenanigans going on. 
And I really, like, I don't mind if they kill any characters off. I just hope they do it in a, like, a dignified or, like, a really important way. If I boot up Halo Infinite and the opening scene is the Infinity getting just murdered by the Banished and Palmer and Locke just die under this guy's hand and I had nothing to do with it, like an opening cutscene, that would be the worst thing imaginable for me. And I think a lot of people have expressed that disheartenment towards that idea too, so maybe they are going to change that up. I think, uh, well, they delayed the game for a year, so it's never too late to do anything. It's also got this weird, like, pink piece on the back of its neck, which is a little strange. And yes, he is my boy, Craig. Uh, uh, the camera's got a fixed focus, so it can't really do it. But like, yeah, my boy Craig's there. You can you can see my little, my little baby boo, Craig the Brute. All right, so we'll put Hyperius aside. Where can he go that you can still see him? He'll go on this little mat. Also, if you're wondering what this little mat is, it's just a coaster taped down, and it's to make sure that no Lego pieces. Oh, did I just say Lego pieces? Oh my goodness. Oh, never be forgiven. Any Mega Bloks pieces, any bricks, don't fall down the hole there where the wires come through for the table. But yeah, that's a different thing. So, welcome. The Defense Point Showdown. Where should we begin with this thing? Mega Construct Halo. The two-in-one build, but again, one of those two-in-ones that I'll never finish because... I'm not gonna build this, take it apart, build the two in one, take that apart, build this again. And I probably will never end up with two of these. So it will remain as just the one build, but that's fine by me. Comes with this gorgeous Mac cannon that I'm so excited for all these translucent red pieces that just run all the way through it. It seems to have some kind of removable features here. I imagine that maybe in the game to take out one of these turrets, you have to like attack the fusion coils that are at the sides of it. And then if you destroy all four, maybe, or all three, you can blow up the structure. That would make sense. Uh, it comes with this mongoose, which I'm going to do a video eventually comparing the standard mongoose, which I don't even know where it is right now. Uh, and then this mongoose, and then also the Halo Builders box mongoose. I want to compare all three, see if there's any differences. The mongoose is being driven by, I think, a female. Nice uh, marine there. And then the Master Chief, who comes with some dirty legs. He is different from all the other... I think we got like six Halo Infinite Master Chiefs already. But he's got some dirty legs, which sort of sets him out from the crowd. He's got this new shock rifle thing. The marine has a radio backpack and an assault rifle. And then they're fighting Hyperius with his gravity hammer looking pretty beastly and also this grunt. What's he called? A grunt conscript? It's a bit different one, isn't it? Uh, a grunt assault. This one's called a grunt assault. There we go. It just la just labeled as a rifle, but I think we know it's a shock rifle now from leaks. Communication backpack, not radio backpack. Then jump pack as well. It's funny that they've like just genuinely not changed the jump pack mold for like, I don't even know how many years. Like they were rocking this definitely in like series five of blind bags, but uh, maybe even like earlier. It, it definitely came in the ODST ambush set. So I'm sure it's just come in a lot, a lot of sets that jump pack. All right, so where are we gonna begin? Oh yeah, it, see, it seems that these things can like flip off. So I would definitely think they're, they're to do with uh, destroying the cannon in game. I'm sure that like, I always wonder how much like in-depth knowledge Microsoft has actually given these toy companies. Like I'm sure Mega Constructs knows more than us, but also maybe they don't. Like I wouldn't be surprised if Mega Constructs were just given like a dozen screenshots of this cannon and were like, yeah, that's all you're getting. That's all we're telling you. Oh, look who's peeking out the top. There we go. Master Chief. Let's get him straight out then. Okay, we have got this Grunt Assault. Not bad. Have we got something similar to this grunt earlier this year? I believe, oh yeah, so in the skiff intercept, we got this grunt, so I guess that's nice. We now have them as a team, the skiff intercept and the defense point showdown, that's pretty badass. But other than that, we haven't got many red grunts. I love the red grunts, I think they're fantastic. Um, and he's got some great little blue highlights across his mask. He's got no highlights on the back, but it is really interesting how the grunt this Grunt Assault is now made out of Lego bricks. Is it? Lego bricks. Wow. <laughs> That's the second time this morning. You know when like you say something by accident and then it somehow encourages your brain to say it more? Uh, Mega Bloks bricks. 
It's got like little studs on the back of the backpack. And uh, yeah, it's cool. It's like his little oxygen tank, whatever, whatever he breathes, whatever gas he breathes. Uh, welcome to over 100 of you. Thank you for joining in today. We are building the Defense Point Showdown and we're building it for as long as it takes. I don't care if it takes three, six or nine hours. We're building it. All right, here's the Grunt Assault. Very nice. And then the Master Chief, Petty Officer John 117. He's, uh, he's looking great. I really dig this muddy effect. I thought it was only on his boots, but it's actually etched across his chest as well. Uh, yeah, a little bit on his shoulders. Very, very subtle, but it's actually kind of everywhere. It's like very faint. I'll have to get like a, a, a macro lens on that to really show you guys in when I do a review of this. He's also got silver details on his lamp. His helmet's painted really nicely. That's an epic Master Chief. And uh, we'll, we'll have him just sort of, uh, just sort of wrestling with <laughs> Hyperius. There you go. Um, and the Grunt Assault as well. We're still missing the Marine, but I'm sure she, she or he will turn up. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Random brick. Instruction manual. And then all these bags. Here we go. Okay. Bye bye box. All right, we got a little backpack, some kind of flash grenade. That's actually a, a new grenade. And then also the assault rifle scope. Got to keep that, uh, got to keep that secure. Hey, Peggy, would you draw that curtain a bit, please? Yeah. Okay. That curtain is like, like that light is like, it's like a divine light right across my face. I can move in and out of it, but it's pretty fun. I don't mind it, honestly. Um, also, dog says hi, says Nancy Almanza. As long, hashtag as long as it takes. Yeah, I, I, I miss that hashtag. We had that hashtag going when we were building uh, the Pelican, because the Pelican took like nine and a half hours. We were literally building the Pelican for nine and a half hours. All right, there we go, another Marine. She's rocking that ponytail, which we've seen before, but I don't think we've seen it with this skin tone. I'm gonna be doing a video, I think next week, which is gonna be called Every Single 2020 Marine. And I, cause I got them all now. So I'm gonna do a review showing you like all the different Marines, all the different features that come with them. Let me know in the live chat if that's something you would like to see. I'm sure it would be. Okay. This is like the random bag that doesn't have a number on it. Basically because it comes with like all the nice like printed pieces like this or these Banish logos are really nice. So it comes with a load of printed details. It also comes with the weapons, it seems. So we've got the shock rifle. It's got no detailing, but it's uh, it's all right. I don't think we've got a really detailed shock rifle yet. We got one with Craig the Brute, our uh, Master Chief versus Craig pack. That's quite a good one. Uh, another little, another little random bag, not numbered, but it's got the top of the radio backpack in there and a plasma pistol. So that's nice to see. Let's pop that in the top there. Again, the radio backpack, something that has just not changed over the years. But they have been doing this recently where it's two different colors. This is like a gray backpack, but with a black antenna. They have been doing that more, so that's nice. And I'll pop the uh, backpack in the Marines peg hole, call it a peg hole. There we go. I'm actually just gonna close that curtain because that, that glare is kind of outrageous, eh? Hopefully that will have improved. Look at that, that's, uh, that's way better. <laughs> Still good lighting, but um, way better than just that, that, that obnoxious glare. All right, so now we've got to sort out the bags. Number nine, number seven, number six. Oh, this one's quite big. Okay. Oh, number 11. And number 10. Okay. So there seems to be 11 numbered bags, which is pretty decent. And then two of these non numbered bags that we've already opened. So there we go. All right, who else is joining us this morning? Hey, Toe of Ultimate Doom's here. Is no one gonna ask about the deer? 
About the deer, yeah, the deer in the background. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was actually a Christmas decoration. I forget where I'm pointing. That was a Christmas decoration, but uh, it was like a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and I chose to, uh, ch like, when I took down the Christmas decorations, I decided to leave the red, uh, I, oh my gosh, I can't get my words out. I bought that as a Christmas decoration, and then it had a red nose on it. When Christmas finished, I just took the red nose off and left it up. I didn't want to get rid of it. I didn't want to uh, take it down. I think it's so cool. Okay. It's only made of cardboard as well. It's like a, just like a 2D, oh, 3D puzzle uh, from cardboard. All right, so we've sorted out all these little printed details, all these like tiny pieces. And then we're gonna get going, I guess. Let's get going. All right, hey, lovely, good to see ya. Average viewer, that's a funny one. It broke through the wall wanting to watch the video. Yeah, he was so eager. He broke through the wall to see the video. RIP my local Argos. Oh no, did your Argos close down? Uh, I love Argos, but like, I haven't seen a, a, a Halo set in Argos for a long time. Also, how is the uh, music volume doing on uh, on the video? Because I it, it looks like it's kind of broken. Maybe I'll, I'll test it. Um, I've got like an assortment of different Halo soundtracks today, so we can listen to whatever the chat decides. Let's see if the, uh, the music's still working. I'll just check. See, the music's not working. Come on, Halo soundtrack, what happened? All right, let's, let's bring up ODST for a bit. Where's my music? Okay. <laughs> the delay is actually not that bad today. Usually, uh, I, I hear myself about 20 seconds later. It's actually better today. All right. Well, what's happened here? Did they all get moved? All right. Let's try and, let's try and get one of the music. So. I got like um, all the different Halo soundtracks. All right, uh, yeah, stream let's, let's get Halo 2. Hmm, oh, Halo 3 ODST seems to be coming through now. Okay, I'll just adjust the volume to make sure you guys can hear ODST, my ODST jazz. Where's Sam the Homeless Cat? Yeah, where's Sam the Homeless Cat today? Welcome to Xbox Productions. And the sightless blood, good to see you. Oh, there we go, we can hear it now. Let me know, let me know if that volume's okay for the ODST. I think it should be now. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so um, any of my admins or moderators, or like really if you just uh, let me know in the chat, if you can't hear the music, because I've got like all the Halo soundtracks uh, queued up ready. So we'll start with ODST. Uh, it should have been going the whole time, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so we're starting from scratch. Well, we're starting from the mongoose, it seems. So let's get bag number one and two open. I guess that makes sense. Finish the mongoose first, and then we can get onto the rest. I can also see in here that we've got the base plates for the figures, all four of those. Some people, I think people are actually mixed. I see like um, the family, uh, Thomas Bovey and uh, Miss Rhea Armory, they don't like these new base plates. They think they're not really that uh, good for like collect, because they collect every single figure and they don't really like these base plates. But I think they're fantastic. I think honestly, like these base plates are way better than the originals, just because they, they actually, they look nice to display. Um, also, this Marine's foot seems to be... Oh yeah, there's a bit of a casting mold issue with that foot, but never mind. There we go. All four figures on their displays for now. Alright, let's get this mongoose rocking, eh? Let's get this mongoose going. We are starting with these pieces. Okay. Starting off easy. Starting off with a mongoose. I guess that's how you'd want to do it. Yes, you start off easy and then you go in strong towards the end. All right. Uh, oh, you hear the music, but it's low. Ha, Tower of Ultimate Doom, you're never annoying, my friend. You're never annoying. All right, I turn the volume up, turn the music up, let me know if it's too loud now, and uh, we'll figure it out as we go. It's one of those things, I can only test it so many times, especially when, like, the, these, these softwares uh, are definitely not without their errors, and, like, I tested all the volumes last night, 
And then this morning, you know, the music didn't play and I had to reload it. So we got to redo the volume. What can you do? What can you do? You got you to gotta move on the go with these things. One thing I have been just so surprised about is just how terrible the user interface for YouTube live streams is. Like, it's appalling. It's so bad. And like, you'd feel like YouTube would be like the most complicated, uh, robust algorithm in the world with like a thousand options. But actually, it's pretty terrible. Um, like, there's been multiple times recently. So like, when you start a live stream or when you schedule a live stream, so say I want to schedule a live stream. Um, first of all, I've got to like press the live stream. Then I've got to like type in the time I want. And then if I press OK, it will just automatically start the live stream, even though I put in a time that I want to start the live stream. It'll just automatically start it. And so sometimes I've had people just waiting in the lobby for five hours and I don't even realize the live stream started and they're just sat there like, where is Simon? So these things, uh, these things are not ideal. Um, and they're, they're, they're really in beta stage, which like, I don't know, I feel like they must be testing this stuff like every single day. This is also amazing. This is the, this is a completely different mongoose. They've got these like sloped pieces. These curve off and these are like more just like straight angled. And um, then this like clips on, oh, this like clips on beautifully. Like, look at that. That's, that's really, that's really smartly designed. So uh, happy to see they're innovating with the mongoose still. Um, I've built, oh gosh, I mean, how many mongooses have we all built in our time? Let me know in the chat, how many mongooses do you own? I own a lot. Um, I actually sold a lot of them at Bloxfest. Um, it's very difficult when you run a, a gaming convention like that to keep track of not only what's stock, but then what's your own personal collection as well. And somehow, for some reason, the only thing, because like, I have a complete collection, but when I did the last Bloxfest, the only thing that got sold was a lot of my mongooses. And I don't know why, I don't know how, but like somehow they ended up in a box that got sold. Uh, what can you do? Oh, uh, four mongooses, seven mongooses. Uh, Hugo Hernandez has seven mongooses. Mongooses, mongoose, mongoosei. What is the real term there? We don't know. We may never know. We may never know these things. All right, I guess I can keep, if I get my headphones, I can keep one, I can keep them plugged in at all times and then I can just check. Cool, uh, I can just check the volume every so often. And also shout out to way better microphone for this one. Uh, I sorted out the microphone issues and uh, it sounds way better. It sounded, gosh, so tinny in the last last live stream. I really feel sorry for anyone that stuck to the end because uh, that microphone was not good. But this time I, I figured it out quite a lot, I think. Okay, and how's everybody's day going? I know it's quite late at night for most people. Uh, I know that the UK friends that are watching this live stream will only be able to watch it for a certain amount of time before they have to go to sleep, they have to go pass out. Uh, but I, I welcome you for as long as you can make it. Here's the uh, the movable handlebar, very nice. Um, yeah, I know I know that the, like the majority, here's the thing, YouTube always tells me that the large, large majority, about 85% of my community is from America, but I don't know if I always see it. Like, I, I would say that like a lot of my fans are from England, but uh, YouTube says America. But then again, I don't know how many uh, British people use VPNs, because I know a lot of people are very uh, particular about their security, you really should be. And I know that a lot of people in the UK use VPNs, so I don't know if they turn up as American uh, residents or not. So that would be interesting to find out if I can ever, if I can ever know these things. Let me know if you live in the UK and you use a VPN. I guess that's the way to do it. Can I tell you a cool idea for merch? Please do Lego Brick 08. Sorry if I don't see it, if I don't actually re respond to it, because like sometimes people ask me if they can ask a question and then by the time they ask it, I, I, I'm looking at something else. But if you don't get a reply, then you can always message me on Discord. Um, which do you like better, the skiff or the building box? The building box has amazing figures. I, I'd say the building box. Here's the thing, the skiff is good. Um, the skiff is good. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Yeah, the skiff intercept is a good set, but 
um, it's it's a little clunky. Like, I don't know. I've always said with the skiff incept, it feels like a lot of it's missing. Like, it's kind of like a hollowed out build. So uh, I was never that keen on it. So uh, I would have to choose the the building box. And the building box, uh, uh, okay. Brian says, Simon, the legs, mostly the pods, become a very tedious build over time. There's so many small pieces that look the same in the canisters. I'll watch out for that, my friend. I'll watch out for that. Yeah, shout out to my mods that are joining me today. I think we're going to be welcoming a couple of new mods onto the YouTube live stream very soon. We're always looking for new mods on Discord or on YouTube, and sometimes some new admins on Facebook as well. We're about to launch a new Instagram, which you can also get involved with as well. Details soon. All right, these are the new wheels, and these were definitely on the other mongoose. These wheels are fantastic, fantastic. They give so much flexibility to the mongoose. So like you attach them uh, on their own to begin with, and then you just simply click them into the bottom. They literally like click into these little slots, and they're so movable. Like, look at that. So movable, so poseable, epic. Here we go, that's a mongoose. That's a mongoose, baby. That's a mongoose, baby. That's a really cool mongoose. Let's uh, let's check the volume of the music one more time. Okay, I guess the music could still be pumped up more. I know like with Halo music, sometimes it's like super dramatic, sometimes it's super quiet, so you never know. Um, okay, what are we what have we got going on in the chat? I'm gonna join the Discord later after stream. Yes, uh, I will attach a pinned message of our Discord server because our Discord server is epic. And y'all should all join. Y'all should all get there. Let's, let's go. Okay, so we got the mongoose. I believe that's finished. Yeah. We finished the mongoose. And now all we've got left to do is the massive turret. Uh, I'd say we're 50% of the way. We've built 50% of the vehicles. Uh, so I'd say it's 50%. Uh, let me just grab this merch. Uh, oh, let's, let's, let's grab a few links, you know. We're no strangers to links. I'm no stranger to a link. All right, uh, yeah, go on then. We're, I, I always decide what to paste in. Today, I'll just pin links for everything. Why not? Here is all my links. Uh, oh no, they don't They don't go very well. <laughs> can you not like space those out? Uh, I don't actually think you can. Uh, let's try one more time. Uh, no, that's not a very good one. I'll, I'll just, I'll pin the Discord today. We want to get to a thousand members. We're actually almost on a thousand members on our Facebook as well. Maybe I'll pin the Facebook later on, but let's get that Discord pinned. Pin message. Okay, there we go. Hey, Heavy Weapons Guy's here. What up, my friend? It's no surprise. I don't think Heavy Weapons Guy ever misses a stream or a video. ODST 1417. Uh, I did. Have you seen the newer Aerial Ambush? Yeah, I'd like to get hold of that Aerial Ambush for sure. For shizzle. I would like to get it. All right, we got some green pieces here. I guess they are just totally left over. That's actually a lot of spare pieces for a mongoose. Uh, they must have been real paranoid that was gonna have missing pieces. And also, pretty hilarious, that Lego set that I opened the other day, the, uh, the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda, that had a missing piece, which like, I don't know. I haven't bought Lego basically ever. But every time I hear people comparing Mega Constructs and Lego, they're always like, Lego would never have missing pieces. Mega Constructs is terrible. But the first Lego set I buy in pretty much forever, and it comes with a missing piece. Coincidence? I think not. I think Lego actually has missing pieces. And people were just, uh, were just bigging them up. But no. I, uh, I did enjoy releasing one Lego video. Like I said, I'll release one Lego video in a blue moon and it'll be a fun thing. I also released uh, a set that I was really anticipating uh, just, just a few hours ago, really. It only came out about six hours ago, which was my review of the uh, brrr, Covenant Brute Lance set, which is a really cool combat unit. Probably the coolest combat unit Mega Constructs have ever made just because it's pure brutes. It's just pure Halo 3 brutes. Like not only brutes, Halo 3 brutes, I'll have you know. Like they're the best brutes. Well, I say best brutes. We've got, we've got Craig. I mean, Halo 3 brutes are no Craigs. I would like to, sorry if I missed your message about merch ODST, uh, message me on Discord about it. I would um, like to make some merch, which shows like the evolutionary ladder of like human evolution but with brutes, with just all the different brutes from all the different games evolving into Craig. Uh, what, what would you call it? Um, 
Homo, Homo Craig. Craig, 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 uh, I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say Craig Rectus, but that doesn't sound very good. Homo Rectus, Homo Sapien. All the monkeys, all the monkey boys that led to us. All those monkeys evolved for all those for millions of years, and then they, they turned into uh, people that watch uh, Mega Constructs live stream. <laughs> that's the best. That's the best way uh, monkeys could have evolved, eh? That's the best way we could have done it. I am sure the monkeys would be proud. I'm, I'm sure a monkey would like to sit down and watch this live stream. I'm sure it'd be very interesting. <laughs> I'm not calling you all monkeys, all right? Please, please don't leave. <laughs> I'm just rambling. I gotta like. Um, it's funny to like, like be doing this. It's it's kind of multitasking, like doing this and also like just talking nonstop. It's pretty pretty difficult to keep up. So there I am, just like ranting about monkeys. That's how it is. Uh, <laughs> that's how it is. Okay, the the music's going well. If uh, if you hit me up enough on uh, the chat or if you donate through the, the supers button. Anybody that donates can choose the music. That's the only time I'll mention that. I don't want to be plugging that today, but if you do uh, donate, you can choose the music. I've got pretty much all the Halo games lined up. And uh, I, like, I think they're like relaxing remixes of all the Halo games. Everything except Halo 4. Halo 4 will get you a copyright strike on YouTube. You don't want that. I don't know why, I don't know uh, on in what universe, but, but like, I don't know, the creator of Halo 4 was like, I'm gonna take all that money and y'all can, uh, <laughs> y'all can do one. <laughs> like seriously, I don't know. Like all the Halo music is just free, pretty much free public domain. And that's why I make videos. I would not make Halo videos. Flat out just would not make videos if I could not use Halo music because they'd just be so dry. Like, gosh, finding new music for every single video and like keeping that fresh. No thanks. I like Halo music gives my videos life. It gives all Halo YouTubers videos life. Um, and it's a shame when like other members of the community, like anybody that makes Nintendo videos, they can't use Nintendo music for a second. Not only will Nintendo take the ad revenue, they'll also just flat out take your video down. They won't, they won't allow it. All right, so that is bag three and four. I still gotta sort bag five and then we're ready to go. So really, they're trying to get every piece on the table. And I imagine, yes, because uh, we're building the base, but then once we get onto those legs, pretty much gonna need every every bag. So I'm guessing like we're just, we're just getting out all those bags now, because like we're gonna need them all. So that's how that goes. All right. And everybody always like, you always need to spam the chat if the music cuts out for some reason, because the Halo 2 music seemed to cut out, or maybe it was never playing. I don't really know. <laughs> Oh, it's funny trying to control these live streams. Here we go. Oh, dropped a brick down. Can't be losing that. In the Pelican inbound, we had a couple of missing pieces, but thanks to the legendary Bam Bam Productions, I ha reject humanity, become monkey. Yes, yes. Hashtag, let's go, let's go back to the trees, boys. <laughs> let's go back to the trees. Things were simple then, but then also you had a very high chance of dying, so I don't, I don't want to die anytime soon. Um, like, when you're watching a nature documentary, like, every time you're watching a nature documentary, it starts out off, like, it starts off super nice, super chill, like, look at these, look at these arctic hares, aren't they having, like, an amazing life? And, like, I'm always telling Peggy when it starts, I'm like, wow, they look like they just have the best life. And then along, along comes the coyote pack, and then it says like, oh yeah, one in 10 hairs will be eaten before they get to adulthood or like some awful thing. I'm like, okay, all right, I'm, I'm happy staying indoors. <laughs> all right, we're almost finished with this uh, organizing. I always recommend every time I do a stream, anytime I do these things, I always recommend you have got to organize your bricks. There's no other way of doing it. You're just, you're gonna waste so much time if you don't pre-organize your bricks. Um, it's always for the best. Always saves you time, saves me time, saves you guys time. There we go. Uh, yeah, if you see me reach for my headphone, I'm just doing quick uh, volume checks on that music. I don't want it to suddenly become too much, but uh, it sounds pretty good right now. 
And uh, what, what Halo sets have you guys been either buying or building this week? Are you building something while this stream's going on? I know a lot of people open blind bags during these streams. What are you guys up to today? Let me know in the chat. How are you folks? How are my fellas? My army of... My army of, what would we say? My army of Spartans, that's the way to do it. My army of Spartans, what are we all doing today? Also, I seem to have like really got, uh, I really seem to have improved the delay. Usually the delay from the stream to actually people replying or it even showing up is usually, uh, it's, it's something long like 20 seconds, but now I've got it down to something like a few seconds. So that's really good actually. Um, all right, let's, let's read the chat. We just finished organizing all the pieces. So let's read the chat quickly before we get going on this build. Cause once we get going, we gotta get going boys. All right, I haven't gone to the store to buy any new sets, but I just got the Hijack Ghost yesterday. That's awesome, Hugo. And uh, just got the building box. That's great, Yose, and lovely. How many micro pelicans do you have beside you? I got four beside me. I got uh, uh, one behind me, and then I've got two that are in parcels that were one on a recent live stream, and I haven't sent them yet because Air mail is actually blocked to most countries from Hong Kong right now. If you're listening Bam Bam Productions, I forgot to tell you, uh, and a lot of my other moderators that I've been sending things to, or, or some of my Patreons I've been sending things to, um, but I can't send it yet. I tried to send it a couple of times and Air mail is blocked uh, to send to America right now. So I could send it uh, by, by sea, but it would take like months and months. All right, uh, Alex is building the Pelican. Nice, nice. You like my new name, Spartan? Uh, Spartan Studios. Spartan Studios is a cool name. That's dope. JP Max Four. Are you excited for World War Three? No, no. And the more we feed that flame, like there's no World War Three. World War Three is not going to happen. These countries have all got boosted up egos, but they're not going to do anything about it. Don't you worry. We'll be okay. Um, building the defense point showdown. Excellent. Build it with me. Speaking of which, I gotta figure out a winner to the blue pilot. That's right, you should do that. All gravy, my guy, crazy times. Yes, yes it is, Bam Bam Productions. I got a sick Bowie knife, okay. Um, yeah, Toe of Ultimate Doom, you could do it now. If you if you draw the winner now, I'll announce it. If you if you message me the, the winner's name on Facebook, I'll announce uh, the winner, if you'd like, of your blue pelican pilot. Guys, if you want, check out Toe of Ultimate Doom's YouTube channel real quick. You, you guys have seen him in the community before. Uh, Toa, please feel free to post a link to your channel. Guys, he's just been doing a giveaway of the blue AC Pelican Pilot. So Toa of Ultimate Doom, give it a few more minutes. Post the link to your YouTube channel. Guys, you have a few more minutes to go and subscribe to Toa of Ultimate Doom's YouTube channel. And if you do, uh, you can win a blue AC Pelican Pilot. So it's definitely worth doing. Just do that real quick. And then uh, we'll draw the winner. Draw the winner, live on stream. Wouldn't that be exciting? Okay. Ooh, all right. Well, okay. We got a. Uh, we got something. We're building something right now. Building a whole load of something. Ah, uh, these are uh, these actually angle really nicely. That's cool. Okay. Um. So this. I mean, they don't. Okay. They do seem to align. We're we're building like. <laughs> we're building something. Some part of the base. We're building the base of the turret first, and then probably the legs, and then the cannon. I don't know what way round it's gonna go, but I imagine it might be that. All right, um, cool. So now we got, now we gotta get one of these. Now we gotta get some of these. There we go. All right, so there we go. Yeah, look at that pit. Look at that message from my moderator, Toa of Ultimate Doom. You have to go to that YouTube video to be entered into the competition. And one of the criteria is you gotta subscribe to that guy. He's an amazing YouTuber. He makes uh, Halo Mega Constructs videos that are called Doom Construct Reviews, which are like really well scripted, uh, like sort of satirical, uh, slightly sarcastic, but also like really, really down to earth. Like he knows his stuff, uh, reviews of all the new Mega Constructs products. So you should definitely check him out. He's really cool. All right. We're building a fat load of something. Fat load of something today. And yes, uh, if as uh, Bam Bam Productions mentioned earlier, it's currently 8 a.m. for me. Uh, I always get up early and do these live streams. I got up a little later today. I, I you know, I've had a, a, a busy few days, and I was like, I can, I can get up a little later today. 
Um, so usually I live stream maybe an hour earlier than this. It, it actually varies, but today I was like, okay, I gotta, you know, I've been saying to myself recently, you gotta, you gotta take care of yourself first. Uh, it's very easy to get lost in like, and this is, this is advice to all your folks, all right? It's very easy to get lost in life and like, um, just be busy, busy, busy all the time. But you've got to take care of yourself. That's number one priority. Take care of yourself and also take care of your family. And uh, where am I going with this? I'm just saying that I had a lion. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But still, uh, no, it stems from the truth. It stems from the fact that like, uh, in the past, I've definitely like, pushed myself to like ridiculous hours at night releasing videos and like really crunching uh, slightly unnecessarily. I, I just want to produce good content for you guys, but I definitely, sometimes I put my health last. So uh, I'm just saying that you've all got to, you all got to put your health first. You all got to look after yourself. Okay. This is a very interesting load of something that I'm building. <laughs> it's, a, it's a buttload of something. Very interesting thing. It, uh, oh, it's all locked together now. It was moving around, but it's actually all locked in now. So this is, uh, yeah, 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 it's something. You might just say it's something. All right, let's get these pieces together. Hi, Ollie Pad. Hi, Simon. I wanted you to know that I've created a YouTube channel. You, you have inspired me to do this. Thank you. You're so welcome, Ollie Pad. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some content from you. My friend, that would be great. I'm loving seeing all these new YouTube channels that are coming out of uh, coming out of nowhere and saying, "Hey, um, the new community, you know, the explosion in the community has inspired me to create this YouTube channel." That's great. I've been trying to I've been trying to tell Mega Constructs directly that uh, the, this community has been blowing up recently. Like it's uh, it's off the charts. I wonder how, um, I always wonder how sales are doing at Mega Constructs this year. They must have been good. Like, sales must be doing well this year. I'm also building that wrong. Um, but, uh, you never really know with these companies. Like, yeah, th there's like... I guess some people would say as long as you don't think, like, if you see things on clearance, then they're not selling well. But that's not always the case, you know. Uh, sometimes it's just ordering way too much of it. Although when you go to like a Toys R Us and like there's literally a billion Star Wars toys, especially the Last Jedi toys, you know that didn't sell well. Like I can guarantee that did not sell well. All right, Here's a, that's an interesting question because uh, I was I was pleasantly surprised that I released the Mandalorian video and for a start you guys supported me with it, which I thank you for. I kind of thought there might be an angry mob saying, why are you posting Lego? But no, you guys were super chill and uh, it's on 1k views, which is really great. So thank you all so much for that. But then uh, I would love to know, like, cause I, I gauged that there was gonna be a lot of Star Wars fans in my community. I knew that was gonna be a thing. Cause like Star Wars is so big. I knew that like a lot of people were Star Wars fans. Let me know, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? And did you enjoy the prequel, uh, the sequels? Uh, the prequels, they're fine. Did you enjoy the sequels? Did you enjoy the sequels of the new Star Wars? And what is your favorite Star Wars? Hmm. Have you heard the song, It's Magic? Yeah, sure, I like that song. Uh, what happened to Sam? Who did the Halo Master Chief unboxing with you? The Halo Master Chief unboxing was Sam, yeah. Uh, the, if you're talking about the suit of armor, that was Sam, and Sam is doing well. I'm gonna get him on a video once I'm back to England, but Sam has just been, uh, he works as an engineer for a big company. He's, uh, he's doing really well. Um, he's currently on lockdown in the UK, as is uh, pretty much everyone in the UK. But I think he's having an okay time. He's just looking after his family, as you should be doing. And uh, yeah, I, I would like to post an update with him eventually. I, I want to, like, uh, I'm just so distracted recently because I've got so many uh, videos to make. And my priority is, of course, getting videos out of all the new products. So then I'm hoping, to be honest, to be really honest with you guys, I'm hoping that, like, there's not some new Halo sets for a while. I'm hoping that I can get all the reviews out and then there's no pressure to find any of the new sets, no pressure to, to buy any of the new sets or have people help me out with the new sets. And like, I just want to uh, chill out and then make some more like uh, abstract videos. I've got a lot of like super interesting videos I want to make, 
especially using Halo footage. And then also I want to make some more like um, heritage videos for my YouTube channel, like celebrating the last, um, well, celebrating the origins of my YouTube channel. I think I'm going to probably, like, I'm probably just going to go hard on it next year. In January of 2022, it'll be my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. This month is my nine year anniversary and nine, nine is a great number, but like 10, I think that's definitely the time uh, that like, I hope personally, like my YouTube channel is doing crazily well by the time we get to Halo Infinite. And really that's like, that's like the aim because cause the Halo community is just gonna blow up like we've never seen when Halo Infinite comes out. I think like, I think honestly the way they're marketing it with like a free to play multiplayer and having the Master Chief in Fortnite and things like that, I think they're definitely going to aim for Halo Infinite to become the new Fortnite or the new Battle Royale. I know they kind of, there was a leak recently that confirmed, well, there's a leak recently that suggested there is not going to be any Battle Royale in Halo Infinite, more like they called it Big Team Battle 2.0. I don't know, it, it, that might be the case, but uh, either way, I think they're going to be trying to market this game heavily on a new crowd, which you should be all for. Like, we can't just have the, the, uh, the Halo community stagnate. So I'm looking forward to seeing if... Oh wow, that's cool. That's really nice. I'm looking forward to seeing, um, well, not only if the Halo community just blows up, but also if, um, if a lot of new people come in and then with that, I really hope that my, my YouTube channel is, is like in prime position by then. That's essentially my aim. I have 11 months to bring this YouTube channel to the, the highest height possible in that time. And then I've got to see like where it is once like Halo Infinite releases. Because like once uh, this is going to be like I'm live streaming today. Um, and today is um, building the the, uh, the the defense point showdown. You know what today is. And then next weekend is going to be building a new diorama live. I was going to do the diorama build live today, but I realized you can't build the diorama without the defense point showdown. So I flipped the two around. And what I want to do now is... Uh, what am I doing? Uh, these are different, actually. Yeah, I was holding the wrong pieces. That's why I was getting I was getting progressively confused with what was happening there. Alex Hogan wants me to answer. I don't know what I'm answering. I can't see any other message from you, my friend. Uh, Simon, I have a question. All right, well, post the question. Um, oh, heavy weapons guy, I'm back. What did I miss? You missed this heavy weapons guy. Uh -huh. We're we're building something. And welcome to anybody, especially anybody that's new to the channel and is just checking us out for the first time here. We do so many cool things uh, Halo related on this channel, but also... Cool. But also, we're building the Defense Point Showdown today, and we're live streaming for as long as it takes. We have also built the Mongoose, if you missed that as well, and now we're building the base of the turret. And uh, so cool that they released this um, from the Halo Infinite trailer. But then again, that's another reason that I would kind of think that uh, 343, 343 didn't really share that much with, um, with, what am I even saying? Yeah, I don't think that 343 actually shared much information about Halo Infinite with Mega Constructs because they probably just sent them some pictures of this turret and said, hey, this is gonna be in the gameplay trailer. Cause like they definitely, 343 would not want, uh, Mega Constructs to make any sets that weren't directly related to the trailer because they wouldn't want anything else spoiled. So that makes sense to me that like they would have just been sh just been shown like a tiny amount of details, uh, just a tiny amount. Hey, uh, welcome to the gang Warpath six four three four. He just subscribed. Welcome, my friend. I've also got this little zombie emote. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, welcome to the clan, my friend. Uh, good to have you here. Welcome to anybody new. I think anybody that subscribes, uh, I don't get all the notifications to this. I'm using a, an app called Streamlabs if you're interested. Um, I also really like how this is sort of suspended 
there's like a little gap here, which is qu quite nice. The, the, the camera's flipped, so it's quite difficult. Oh, you can actually see the top of the tripod uh, in my setup. You can see the camera there. It's it's pretty fun. It's actually attached to two tripods. This is, this is a second little tripod that like jits it right out. So it's like directly over the display. Uh, so I'm building a second one of these. So maybe, maybe they're gonna be paralleled. I don't really know yet. But uh, yeah, it seems like we're just doing the same thing again. Uh, Tower of Ultimate Doom said there's quite a bit of repetition in this set, which I definitely would imagine, especially like there's three legs that uh, they look identical. I don't know if they are identical though, because if they are, I'll try and build them all at the same time. That would definitely be uh, the ideal thing to do. Okay, I actually missed when everyone was saying what their favorite Star Wars was. Uh, Rogue One, I see. Uh, bring back Billy the Grunt. Billy the Grunt's chilling. Billy the Grunt's here. Ugh. There he is, there's my Billy boy. And if you check out our merch store, link in the description below, you can buy Billy Gang merch. Yeah, it's so cool. A lot of people have been buying it recently, it's amazing. RIP Toys R Us in America. I know, there's still Toys R Us in Hong Kong. And I'm thinking about doing uh, Toys R Us, um, some kind of Toys R Us video, like Toys R Us haul videos. They don't sell Mega Constructs. Well, they sell some, they sell Pokemon Mega Constructs. Um, and maybe a couple of other brands. But I'm thinking about doing a video where I go around all of the the uh, Toys R Us's in Hong Kong. I think uh, that would be a really interesting video for people. Maybe it would make people very nostalgic and missing Toys R Us. Toys R Us closed in the UK as well. It was a, it was a dark day, a dark day for collectors when that store closed. What am I even looking at here? Okay. Okay. Baby Yoda saved your video. Ha, I love Baby Yoda. Oh my gosh, I love Baby Yoda. Return of the Jedi, um, Empire Strikes Back. Um, can you bring out Billy the Grunt Custom Flood? Where is my Billy the Grunt Custom Flood? I don't actually know where he went. He's somewhere. Oh yeah, actually, he's, uh, he's over here. I put him in my diorama. There we go. Billy the Grunt Flood Custom Nightmare. Absolute nightmare zombie Billy. <laughs> I guess that's my new subscriber logo. When you see the, when you see somebody subscribe, uh, I guess that's the zombies coming for Billy the Grunt. Uh, Rogue One was my favorite Star Wars film. Episode eight and nine are horrible. Yeah. Um, I've seen the first one of the new D Disney trilogy and I still haven't checked The Mandalorian. Everybody needs to check The Mandalorian. Holy cow, The Mandalorian is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I have a stuffed animal baby Yoda, that's fun. We, we have one too, I don't know where he is. Oh, he's over, over on the couch over there. We got him from, from Amazon, I think. There's a build, the, the, like all the baby Yodas actually seem to be like quite terrifying. All the, all the merch, like, have you seen the, uh, the Lego baby Yoda that you can build like a huge buildable baby Yoda? It looks terrifying. It looks absolutely, absolutely terrifying. No, I, I would not, I would not want that in my house. So does actually the uh, the standard Lego Yoda. They did like a, a, a replica, you know, like maybe like a two-in-one scale or something. They did uh, a Yoda as well, and that Yoda looks terrifying. I don't like either of them. But no. So what am I? What am I saying? In, in terms of uh, Star Wars films, I mean, I got so much to say about Star Wars films. Like I don't know. I won't go into too much detail because, like, yeah. Everybody's, uh, everybody's entitled to their own opinions and like you can definitely find joy in the new Star Wars films and for a new audience, I think the new Star Wars films are very appealing um, to the most part, but if you take the Star Wars films as canonical to the other movies, then they become quite offensive to George Lucas's original vision. Like George Lucas has even said he was disappointed with the new movies. And also the way that Disney promised that, that, that George Lucas would be able to help script write the new movies. And then once George signed it away, they just immediately ditched him. No, I see, I see it as, a, as a, a terrible betrayal of trust, uh, what Disney did to, to George and like also just like what they did to his legacy, like making all of our favorite characters into like, you know, deadbeat dads and like, uh, especially like Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker is a beacon of hope in the galaxy and they just make him into like, like a, like a pissed off old man, you know? Um, I'm kind of figuring now if I'm missing a piece. I don't know. It's kind of looking like I might be missing a piece. Let's see at the, at the bottom. Maybe, maybe I used the wrong piece. 
I'm not sure. No, I think I did use the right piece. I don't know. It, it looks... Yeah, it looks like it's wrong. Um... Hmm. Just want to make sure. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So I used the wrong color there. That's why. Um... Ah, that's not really very easy to get to. <laughs> um, I think I used the wrong color. Ah, that's hard to say. It's hard to tell. Where am I even looking at? Hmm. Maybe not? Yeah, honestly, like, what am I looking at right now? <laughs> it's very, it's very difficult to tell. Um... Okay, this is very strange. <laughs> Bear with me, folks. Enjoy the live chat while I just uh, I just figure out what what on earth went wrong here. Did I use like quite a lot of the wrong colored bricks? I think I did, honestly. Which is weird. That's very weird. I want to I want to really make sure I I did use the wrong pieces. Yeah, I think um, I think I just like totally used the all the wrong colors for like a, a big stage of the build. Let's just, um, let's, let's change that. Let's fix that problem. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a lot of this off. Okay. Right. Let's go from, let's go from here. Oh, yeah, look at that. I used so many of the wrong color. Simon, what happened? What happened, Simon? Oh, no. Wow, Olipad has six mongooses. That's pretty quiet. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty wild. Um... Yeah, wow. That was that was a colossal mistake from my part. Um, I hope that doesn't happen again. I guess that's like a... At least it, it didn't happen at a part that was like really difficult to uh, fix. But geez, that was not that was not good. And yes, yeah, so uh, finishing one of my thoughts from earlier. I'm, I'm going through a lot of different thoughts, <laughs> as you do. But I uh, I want... Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, finish, I'll finish one of my points. Um, I'm doing this live stream today, and then I'm building uh, a diorama next time. I'll do that on my next stream. And then the following stream after that will hopefully be Halo gameplay. And I'm hoping to do like Mega Constructs live streams every week, but then also probably Halo gameplay most uh, weeks as well. I'm going to be looking into Twitch in the next few days, seeing if that's like a really viable option for me. If it is, then I'm gonna uh, start making a Twitch account. And, cause like the thing with this Streamlabs Pro, which is uh, what I'm using now, the software I'm using, uh, you can actually live stream uh, to multiple platforms all at the same time. So it's pretty chill like that. I can, um, I can live stream to Facebook, uh, Inst uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch at the same time. So it's probably gonna be a really viable option for me. Okay, so I guess that is fixed. Have I fixed it? Have I done good? Yeah, that's that's back to where it was, I believe. I'm 90% sure that's back to where it was. Also, just... Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Get back to it, Sam. Get back to your Star Wars conversation. Um, oh, did somebody, did somebody win? ODST one four one seven. Ah, did I did I just draw the winner? Um, the funny part is I said it eight times in there. Oh, seven. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry about that, Brian. I only saw the one where you were calling yourself annoying. Um, yes, I guess. Congratulations. Uh, we just did a raffle and picked a random winner. I don't know if it's already been said in the chat, but ODST one four one seven. Yeah, I can't even put it on. ODST1417 has won the blue AC pilot. Congratulations, ODST1417. Um, ah, welcome, Jerry Houston. No problem. You forgot about the live stream? That's all good, my friend. Welcome to it now. Happy to have you. Ah, the music's gone. You always got to tell me when the music goes. All right, let's try and... Ah, there we go. We got Halo Reach coming on. Halo Reach is coming. Okay. Yes, welcome Jerry Houston. We are building the Defense Point Showdown. Welcome to anyone that's just joined the stream. We have currently built whatever this thing is and the Mongoose. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, congratulations, ODST1417. You have won a blue AC pilot. To claim your prize, you just have to message me on Discord with evidence of your YouTube channel. You have to screenshot your YouTube channel, send me that, and you can claim your prize. Uh, I'm listening to myself here, trying to listen to the to the volume of the music. All right, I'm just seeing what the volume is like on uh, on that Halo music. That's pretty good. That's pretty good volume. Halo Reach. There we go. Bloxfest tickets. <laughs> Asking about Bloxfest tickets. I think that there will be a new Bloxfest, a new uh, a, a new Mega Constructs gaming convention, and I think it'll it'll take uh, it'll certainly take place in England. I kind of want to do one in Chicago one day, but I'm gonna do one in England. And yeah, there's going to be the, the first uh, Bloxfest gaming convention for a few years. We used to run Bloxfest, literally a Mega Constructs gaming convention. It was epic with Halo tournaments, hundreds of sets on sale, huge prizes. Mega Constructs themselves came to the event every year. Um, it was insane. We had hundreds of people. Uh, bought a We rented a convention hall. This convention hall was about uh, $1,200 a day, and we rented it. It was pretty much where all the, the ticket money went because it was pretty much a non-profit. And we rented this hall, we ran Bloxfest, and it was crazy cool. But uh, we took a few years off while I lived in China. I mean, I'm still living in Asia, but we took a few years off from Bloxfest, and we're gonna bring it back. Bigger and badder than ever, just once the pandemic's gone. Once uh, once this has all died down and everybody has uh, jabs, obviously go get your jab if you've got the option, get a get a jab. And we're gonna be doing our next Bloxfest once once the uh, once the clouds, what, what would you say, the smoke has, the dust has settled. That's the one I was looking for. Once the dust has settled, we'll do another Bloxfest. And the next time we do a Bloxfest, I don't imagine there'll be a ticket price. If there is a ticket price, it will literally be just to cover the, uh, the the small price on the venue. But I don't think, ooh, excuse me, I don't think I'll be doing like a big blocks fest. I think uh, it'll start with like a fan meetup with some gaming tournaments, and then it'll probably evolve into the future. And I wouldn't be surprised if some of my friends from America decide to fly over for blocks fest. We had uh, a one of the prominent figures in the Mega Constructs community back in the day. I just did the same thing again. I just did the same, co the, the wrong color out on the other side. I just put the wrong color in again. Goodness me, Simon, get it together. Luckily, I spotted him immediately this time. Um, but yeah, the one of the most prominent members of the community, Andrew Gagno, who's a, a wonderful Canadian guy. He's not really invested in the community nowadays, but he was like one of the biggest figureheads back then really big stop-motion animation channel and him and his son his wife and his daughter all flew to England from Canada for the last blocks fest and uh, had an amazing time it was truly wonderful that like they came down for this event because I told them I was like this is the last one it's now or never let's let's go and uh, like they they did it they flew to England and we had an amazing time uh, I came from Canada just for that, says Siren Wynn. You came from Canada? D did you come to Bloxfest? Or you would come from Canada. Jacob, can you please not cuss? Yeah, if anybody's cussing, let's let's get them uh, muted. Simon, here's my idea for the merch. You have Noble Team's helmets laying down, saying Spartans never die, they're just missing out on action. Ooh, that's a good merch idea. That's a good merch idea. Um, I love that. To be honest, guys, uh, and like this is this is whatever, but like I can't make any more merch because I haven't made the money back on the first merch. <laughs> that's just that's that's truly how it is. Um, I paid uh, a really beautiful uh, graphic designer to make all of my merch, um, but I simply uh, just just have not sold enough to make the money back on that. Uh, so I can't make any more yet. But uh, in the future, in the future, there will be more merch. Um, okay. 
What am I looking at now? Yeah, uh, just got to build this piece up at the top. Okay. So yeah, but also if you want to check out my merch, uh, it is it is really cool. And you can see the link to my merch in the description of this video. Um, during the last stream, we, we sold one of our hoodies, which was really exciting. And uh, during the, when I did this video on the Grunt Custom Flood Nightmare, uh, a couple of people bought Grunt merch after that as well. So that was, I really appreciated that. Okay. Let's keep on going. Uh, I wonder where this stream's gonna go today. I wonder I wonder how much it's gonna derail by the end. That's the main idea. Because um, the Pelican live stream, it started really well. And then after nine and a half hours, I just lost it. Like, yeah, I kind of lost the plot for a while. Uh, I came a little bit delirious, a little bit delusional, um, because I'd literally been streaming for nine and a half hours. So I'm, I'm wondering where it's gonna go today. I'm wondering how long this, uh, this stream's gonna last. And I guess that's the next thing. Last time when we did the Pelican live stream, I told you all to guess uh, how long it was gonna take. And we took guesses. Let me know in the comments how long do you think this is going to take? Po post how many hours you think in the live chat and we'll see who's right at the end. I can't say right now. I'm not sure. Um, this, this seems to be going along at a decent pace, but we've still got a very long way to go. So it's hard for me to say. But let me know. Alex Hogan thinks eight hours. Jerry Host Houston thinks four hours. Diego Rio Jess says... Uh, yeah, it's, it's been about an hour 20 right now. Four, and, four to five hours says Heavy Weapons Guy. Kraith's left hand, at least three hours. That's a cool name. Big Brain Productions. 117 likes. Did we get 117 likes? That's sick. I always love 117 likes. I don't like, um, I don't like, like, uh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Whoa, 120 likes. Look at that. Welcome, guys. Um, yeah, I don't like, uh, ever asking for likes. I think it's, uh... I think it's a really bad practice on YouTube to be like, can this video smash 100 likes? Can we get 10,000 likes? I think it's just so lame. But uh, 117 is, is an iconic number. And uh, during the, the helmet build live stream, it was like the, the community was so excited to get 117 likes for John. Uh, so well done on, on, on that today. That's cool. Can we get 1,000 likes? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear, there are some, that's, that's the thing. I've been, um, one of the things that interestingly I've been toying with, um, since I started my YouTube channel properly, cause like, this is like, I'm going in hard with this YouTube channel. Like I want it to be uh, a huge, like part of my life for the future. And, um, to do that, you've got to, you've got to lay down some hard groundworks. So I've really been taking myself seriously and treating this like a proper business, which, which it is at this point. Uh, it's, it's a business built up of friends. Like it's a super chill thing, but like, um, you gotta, you gotta have that sort of, um, you gotta have a slightly serious approach to it. Look at that. That's cool. They, they mirror each other perfectly. And, oh, did you do, do a, a, did a, a morgues impersonation? I did an impersonation of hundreds of YouTubers. They're all terrible like that. But no, uh, what was I saying? So like, there we go. There's only three of these, so this must be the last one. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, da, 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 da. YouTubers. Yeah, um, I, I, I do toy with the idea. Like, I, I like to... I, I, I'm taking myself seriously. So I try and tell people um, I am a YouTuber. And, like, I try and, like... Um, you know, I, I, I tell people like out and about, like when I go to work, I'm like, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. And that's really cool. I've started to like become really proud of that. But it's it's also one of those things where like, I want to be a YouTuber, but I don't want to be associated with a lot of YouTubers, you know? Like there's a lot of really toxic people that do some really bad stuff on this platform. So um, I want to set myself apart from that. One of them is like begging. I just hate that. Um, so we've got this thing. And we're popping it in. Oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on here. We're going to get the other one in the other side. I see. Look at that. Okay. Is that how it goes? Is that? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that's it. Then we've got some kind of structure here. I guess like, yeah, it can sit on its own. It's uh, it's loose right now, but like the gravity of oh, physics. 
<laughs> take hold and like uh, lock that into position. So that's cool. And then we've got another one of these. Uh, oh, I'm a big fan of these guys. Um, you pop these on and you pop these out and you slot them in and they really nicely round off the set. <laughs> there we go. Pop that in again. Click, click. Very nice. How's the volume of the music doing? Nice, a little bit of Halo Reach. We could have that louder. We like our Halo Reach. You should do a mock for a live stream. That's exactly what I'm doing next Sunday. Next Sunday at exactly the same time, I will be building a diorama, a banished diorama, an enormous one with every single figure I own. And I'm gonna be building it next week on live stream. It's gonna be a really exciting one. Then I'm gonna make uh, another like professionally edited video of that live stream afterwards because I love like um, I love like properly properly making an edited video. But like you know, everybody's favorite videos that I put on this channel are my uh, enormous dioramas. And I've literally just been it's I've been keeping you guys up to date with it. I moved to Hong Kong. I had no collection at all. I moved here just with some figures, and now I've slowly been accumulating Halo Infinite figures and vehicles and sets, and now Bam Bam Productions sent me the, not only the Halo Builders box, but also the Mega Constructs Builders box. So I have enough pieces to finally get stuck into some new dioramas. Get going on some new ones. There we go. Okay, this sort of locks that in so it's not moving around. That's really nice. We're getting somewhere, boys. I feel like we've made some real progress now. I feel like it was kind of stagnating for a, for a hot minute there. But now we're back on track. Back on track and ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. Yeah, this cannon, really cool, uh, really cool part of the Halo Infinite trailer, of course. I was one of those people, you can actually see my, my complete reaction on YouTube. I did a, a reaction of the um, Halo Infinite gameplay reveal and I just fanboyed out the whole time. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I didn't think there were any real problems with it. I know graphically why graphic wise it wasn't the best, but it certainly wasn't the worst. I, uh, I and it showed off so many cool new gameplay features. Um, I was just thinking the other day uh, I was playing Halo Reach um, on the uh, is it called Nightfall? It's the mission where you have to scope out the uh, relay jammer that's uh, in the dead of night with Jun, and I was playing that mission and there was uh, an elite on top of a control tower and he was so annoying because like I didn't have any long range weapons and I just couldn't hit him. And I just said to my friend, I was like, later this year, I'll just be able to grapple hook straight up there and punch him in the face. Like the grapple hook's gonna be amazing. And yes, they're gonna balance it out well gameplay wise because it's, it's a pick up item confirmed by 343, like you can pick this item up. It's not just gonna be a permanent thing. So, it's just like a power-up, I think they're going to balance it out really well in gameplay and I, oh, I cannot wait to use it. And also, just like, I don't know, people, people complaining about the grapple hook and complaining about sprint. I'm like, if you have an open world Halo game, you're going to want to be able to sprint places and grapple hook places. You're going to just want to walk right across an enormous map. Alright, look at, look at the beautiful way this is all rounded off. Wow. They lock on so nicely, you can run your finger along there. And then this banished red. Oh, the red is just such a perfect color choice by 343. Like that, that red is just so nice. All right, we're on stage 49 right now. We're on stage 49 and we've been live streaming for an hour 23, nearly an hour and a half on stage 49. I guess that's probably good. Uh, I guess that's probably good. Uh, let's actually check. I've not checked yet how many stages there are. This is also really nice. I've got this like, uh, you see this little hole here? This is where like clearly a rod's gonna attach in so the Mac cannon can turn. And I'm also attaching one of these uh, below as well. So the hole will run right through. There's some very similar design features with the Halo Infinite uh, Pelican inbound. Pretty much the exact same design uh, where like the Pelican can open up basically because of these like, um, these like little, these little like uh, rods. Okay, there we go. All right, welcome to everybody still tuning in or welcome if you're new to the channel, 
we are building the Halo Defense Point Showdown for as long as it takes. Would you grab me an apple, please? Thank you. I'm hungry this morning. I don't know why. I had the most amazing sushi yesterday, and I really want to film a video showing you guys this sushi. You also on video, yeah. <laughs> Just so you know, the camera is like, you, you can see the, uh, the, the kitchen. Um, but just so, yeah, so I, I got this sushi and oh my goodness, it was amazing. The sushi, you sit down in this little booth and you have an app and on the app you order your food off like a live menu and then the food is delivered by a train. Like a train delivers your food. You sit in this little booth and there's like railings next to you and these tiny little trains come along on electric powered railings and then stop next to your booth. You pick the bowl off the train and then it drives away again. It's amazing. And uh, I think I'm gonna do a Travel Blocks episode basically just showing off this train because it's so cool. And also I want an excuse to go back to that sushi restaurant. It was amazing. Um, Tower of Ultimate Doom. Yeah, I, I like straightforward builds. I don't like builds that are too repetitive, but I definitely like uh, an easy, straightforward build. Uh, part two of Blind Bags. I know, Daniel. Tower of Ultimate Doom. He's there. He's there right now. Uh, Tower of Ultimate Doom. We need to release Blind Bags Episode 2. Everybody's cry they're crying for it. The people are crying for it. We need to release it. Um, yeah, I've got, a, I've got so many videos on the way, but that, that Blind Bag Part 2 we should really do. Um, my Wi-Fi cut out. What happened? JP Max, we're just building the Defense Point Showdown. We built this, like, base part so far. Um, I, and Heavy Weapons Doom, you've seen them in Japan. Yeah, it's a Japanese, uh, sushi restaurant called, um, uh, Genki. Genki Life. And, uh, oh, it's so amazing. So, yeah, if you guys would like that, I would, I would be delighted, uh, to make one of those videos. Showing you guys, uh, ordering sushi via train car. Like, in what universe? It's so crazy. All right, so I'm just layering some studs on the bottom of this, uh, giving it some more uh, some more options for attaching things on the side. You can see I've been attaching all these studs, so we'll be able to attach things at a 90 degree angle. Isn't that fun? And then we're locking them all together with some big bricks. Some big bricks there. There we go. Okay, I think I'm gonna take a tiny break at stage 60. What are we on now? Actually, let's check. So there are 108 stages and we're already on 51. Easy peasy, boys. Easy peasy. No problems at all. I'm gonna take a quick break in a second and when I come back, I'll do like more of an interactive Q&A for a little while because we are making some really quick progress with this build. So no worries at all. And hopefully the sun will, the sun is literally about to rise above our window and then this like massive glare will disappear. Cause it is, uh, it is currently 8.47 in the morning. So sun's still coming up on a beautiful day in Hong Kong. Uh, where are those pieces? There they are. Sun's coming up. It would also be really nice to get to the end of a build without any missing pieces. Let's see if we can do it. We're on track right now. <laughs> yeah, the Pelican, the Pelican had some missing pieces, but nothing major, nothing that disrupted the build at all. So it wasn't that bad. I'm also going to be live streaming. I'm also gonna be live streaming uh, on Facebook soon. I just need to, uh, I have my old, uh, the SS Motion Facebook page. Uh, it's just laid dormant for a long time. Maybe I could just keep the name the SS Motion for it but everybody just knows it's the domain. Maybe that would be fun. But yeah, I got my old Facebook page. It used to be uh, it used to be really popular and it's just laid dormant for a long time. But I've been focusing on my new Facebook group for a long time. The Mega Construct Domain. And ay ay ay, that is difficult on your fingers. We're like attaching these this like angled side piece on. There we go, it popped in eventually. I will now uh, link my Facebook into the uh, the live chat. Because like, uh, we're about to hit a thousand members on our Facebook, and when we hit a thousand members, we're gonna do a big old giveaway 
But the more important giveaway is when this YouTube channel hits 30,000 subscribers, which is pretty much around the corner. I don't know, we might hit it this month. It might be next month, but we're just a thousand away from 30K subscribers. And when we hit that, we will be doing an enormous giveaway. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna give away right now, but it's gonna be a really big one. Maybe the biggest giveaway I've ever done, who knows. Um, I might also be able to collab with, well, I'm gonna be doing a really big collab with the Facebook group World Trader for Mega Constructs very soon. Um, they're gonna be giving away some stuff on their page. Uh, but that pinned message is now for our Facebook group, the Mega Constructs Domain. Our Facebook group is the place to be for buy, buy sell trading in the in the Mega Constructs. Oh, what am I even saying? That's the no. That's my spiel for World Trader. World Trader for Mega Constructs is the number one place for buy sell trade. But the Mega Constructs domain Facebook group, which you can see the link there, is the number one place to just be on Facebook for Mega Constructs. Just chatting Mega Constructs. Just having a general good time. Uh, you know what? I don't feel like it's totally unreasonable to say that we might be able to hit 1,000 members on the Mega Constructs domain today. Like, that's... We're, okay, we're 35 members away. Oh, no, I just accepted a new member. We're 34 members away from having 1,000 members on our Facebook. If we hit 1,000 members on our Facebook today, I'll just do the giveaway today. Why not? Uh, so we're, we're 34 members away. Check out, um, check out this, oh, is there, is there, a, is there a lag? Hello, what happened? What's going on? Lag, lag. Oh no, is there a lag? <laughs> uh, Diego, what's up, Diego? You put in a lot of, a lot of throwing up emojis there. Um, yeah, we need 1200 more subs for the, the YouTube giveaway, but that's quite a way away. What is dog water? <laughs> what you guys chatting about? Well, it's, the stream still seems alive. Okay, so we uh, we just hit stage 55, and that's the perfect time to take a two minute break while I go eat this apple for a second. Whoa, and I'll be back in a minute. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. But if you wanna do something for a minute, check out our Facebook group. If you go and follow or go and get added into the Facebook group, the Mega Constructs domain, it's a pinned comment there. If you go and check out the Mega Constructs Domain Facebook page, let's see if we can hit a thousand members today. It's not totally unreasonable to think that. So we need 33 more members. I hope to see you. I hope to see you all on my Facebook group. And we're gonna take a one minute break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a second.
Dun 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 dun! And we're back! We're back, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing? How are we doing today? Alright, I'm just gonna do a quick little increase brightness on something. Play around with these settings for a second. Welcome to everybody who's still on the stream. If you're new, welcome as well. If you've just joined in today, welcome. We are building the Halo Defense Point Showdown for as long as it takes, baby. I don't think it'll take the most crazy amount of time, actually. We're doing really well so far, um, so I'm not worried. We're just going to pull the brightness up on there. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So, welcome to the Xbox Productions, ODST Productions, Random Batman Fan 2 I've never seen you before. Or Ted Stratton Jr., welcome. Diego Riojas, Hugo Hernandez, JP Max 4, Tower of Ultimate Doom. And <laughs> Tower of Ultimate Doom says this is the most boring part of the build. It probably is, because we've got to build like three feet. But I'm never going to be bored when I've got my boys on the stream. We'll get through it together, okay? We'll get through it together. And, you know, if we end up uh, if we end up uh, ending early today, we'll just do a second stream. Whatever, I'll just do a whole video or something. <laughs> There's always more streams to be done. There's always more videos to be made. Always. Alright, so, yeah, we, we're going to finish off uh, this main uh main piece we've we've built this so far and we've also built um, a little mongy mongoose <laughs> mongy mongoose and um we've got flood grunt billy keeping us company we've got he-man and skeletor they're having a great time today as well a load of micro pellets Yeah, if an alarm goes off or if someone just like calls this phone or something, it'll it'll shut down. Eventually we're gonna have, I need to buy some more cables for it, but I think eventually we're gonna have my webcam, we're gonna have the iPhone 11 and maybe even like uh, my Fujifilm camera. Uh, maybe, we'll see. We'll see what uh, what we need, what we need. It's, it's nice today to just be focusing on uh, building again because the last couple of live streams have been all about the Christmas Toymation Fest and in those live streams I've had to like be big on presentation and like be worrying about so many external factors but today we're just building, we're just having a good time building some mega constructs and really that's all we want to be doing with our time. <laughs> but the Toymation Fest was still amazing, I had such a great time doing it um, but as I've mentioned before I'm just happy to, like, have a break from all of that nonsense, because, uh, like, goodness me, the Christmas toy ma Toymation Fest was so time-consuming in the end. I loved it. I loved every single second of it, but it took a lot of time and a lot of energy to, to collate all of those animations and make all those videos. So I am, uh, I did, I did a cool thing uh, yesterday. I deleted the video project for all of the Toymations. I've still obviously got all the Toymations on file, I got all the videos I made on file, but I deleted the, uh, the... I was using iMovie to edit the Toymation Fest because it's just so easy and it was such easy videos to make. Um, so, goodness me, I closed down that... I deleted the iMovie project forever, which is like, just like, a, it's like a turning point in my life. <laughs> um, so that was cool. And... Uh, yeah, it was uh, also 70 gigabytes worth of footage, that uh, that iMovie project. Uh, welcome to everybody. Yes, we need to be positive. I like the side filters in the set. This is really cool. Uh, it's got like a nice gap in it. Um, a lot of really awesome bricks, a printed detailing there. Very nice. I'm missing bag two in the Pelican inbound. Oh no. Oh, it's on its way. Well, that's good. Um, at least Mega Constructs. Their parts replacement service is okay. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews. But, um, I know that they're withholding a lot of pieces from my friend Jonathan. Because um, my friend Jonathan, he buys so many sets, such a crazy amount of them, that he did like an enormous parts replacement once, and Mega Constructs thought it was fake. So now he's really trying to like get the stuff. They're just saying, no, no, we're not, we're not sending anything to you. But, um, you know, I think he'll get it. I think he'll get it eventually. 
Ah, uh, we, we miss it. Oh no, that would be, <laughs> that, I was gonna say, I found it. That would be hilarious if I was talking about parts replacement and then I just found that I was missing a piece. That would have been hilarious timing, but no, we're good. Look at this, this is really bulking out. I love it, this is fantastic. All right, so we've got the turret. Yeah, we'll attach it there, very nice. That's when these studs are just fantastic because you can just lock that in immediately and oh, it's just good to go. Also, I'm really happy to see that the video I released uh, only about eight hours ago last night is doing really well. It's one of my highest climbing videos of the, of the month, which is exciting. It's just a unboxing of the Covenant Brute Lance set, but I thought it was a popular set. Uh, I'm gonna follow that up very soon with an opening of the, uh, what is it even called? The really rare marine set. Ah, what's it even called? Um, it's got all the uh, all the really rare marines in, like the Halo Wars marines. I can't even remember the name of it. Um, what is what is Diego Rio just saying? Oh, you do want it. Well, it's the Brute Lance. Why wouldn't it be popular? That's absolutely right. Um, it's just it's an old set, and like what what I'm what I'm interested to see is if um, old sets are as popular as new sets um, when it comes to me releasing videos. Currently, it seems like that's the case. It seems like people are as interested about learning in learning about old sets than they are with the new sets. So that's really exciting because there's only so many uh, new sets, but there's so many old sets. So that is cool. I'm also, I'm going to be branching out to so many uh, new videos. I, 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 I can never stop talking about how excited I am about upcoming video projects. I just think that uh, I'm, I'm at the time now where I want to just start getting really super creative with my uploads. Um, and really, you can only do that when uh, you have like a really good community backing you. Because at first, like I had to just like push out all these Halo Infinite videos, like get all of the sets reviewed and stuff, you know, um, while the audience was small. But now I've like gained so many new members and like I can start releasing uh, more experimental videos and um, they, they're doing well. So that's just super exciting. And we've finished the other side of this. We're gonna pop that, oh, hello, that fell off. Okay, let's get, get you back on, you're not meant to come off. And then we've got one more side here, there we go. Woo, that looks awesome. All right, let me know in the chat, would you like to hear Halo ODST reach two or three music? Which one would you like to hear? I'll play one of them. We've got, yeah, we've got two ODST, Reach, and Halo 3. Which one would you like to hear? Let me know in the comments of the live chat. Let me know in the live chat. Okay, we just finished stage 60 of, I believe, like 110. Let's see. Yeah, there are 108 stages. We just finished 60, so we're storming ahead. And we finished this entire structure. This is totally finished and it's ready for now, what we're gonna do is build all three of the legs. So I guess I'm probably just gonna like replicate this three times because you can literally just build the exact same thing three times. Um, let's see, I'd say most people go in for Halo 3, so let's tune that up. Okay. Goodbye Halo Reach music and hello Halo 3 music. There we go. I'll just test the volume. So we finished this, and now we're gonna get onto these three legs. And to do that, we need bag six and seven. So bye-bye for now, big piece. Let's, uh, okay, let's just hide it here. I have Romeo series two head. I lost his body, oh no. Hello, welcome Aaron Archer. You are never late, you're always welcome. I'm not playing Minecraft music, Pancake Human. I'm not doing it. Markiplier fan one, two, three. I've never seen you before. The tattoo on your right arm, is that an airbender symbol? Whoa! Well done, friend. Here's my airbender symbol. I'm part of the air nomads. Avatar The Last Airbender is, is, uh, had such a big impact on my life. And then um, this is also from Avatar as well. This is Tui and La, 
the the uh, ocean and moon spirits. They mean push and pull in Chinese. And they circle each other in an eternal dance that represents the tides. The tides moving. I have quite a few tattoos lined up, boys, including a domain tattoo. Because uh, somebody donated uh, during a live stream a few weeks ago and challenged me to do it. So I'm going to build, uh, going to build, I'm going to get the domain tattoo. And uh, Bam Bam Productions get to, Bam Bam Productions gets to choose where I get the tattoo. Okay, there we go. All right, yes, so we've got these legs. Let's get going. Ah, Robert Pinkman got that set yesterday. Well done, friend. And um, Aiden Paulson. Oh, Aiden Paulson's a firebender. Yeah, let me know in the chat. Are you an earthbender, waterbender, firebender, or, or airbender? Let me know. There we go, get some more sunlight on that table. Beautiful, divine sunlight. That's really nice. Okay, so I guess what we're gonna do is we're gonna build all three legs at the same time. Like, why not? Let's just, uh, let's mirror it perfectly. But first I'll do a load of piece sorting. May as well do it now. And I'll answer some live chat questions. Uh, Firebender is Kaven uh, Borgenja, uh, something like that. Uh, Waterbender from Big Brain Productions. Uh, Dimf Dimfna Rocha is an airbender. Liam Wadley is an airbender. Keith's, wait, was that Keith? No, Kraith's left hand is a firebender. Cardboard bender. Come on, Tower of Ultimate. You can't be a cardboard bender. No, I, uh, I absolutely, you know, as, as a kid, uh, Avatar The Last Airbender was a big part of my childhood. Um, and I think it teaches you wonderful morals, uh, all that kind of good stuff. But uh, my, my love was rekindled when they released the new series, Avatar The Legend of Korra. And that speaks to everybody on just like such, such a high emotional level because it deals with so many real world problems and politics and dramas and romances. And like, it's so down to earth, so real. Um, so I just, I adore The Legend of Korra. If you don't know about that show and you only watched Avatar The Last Airbender, I could not recommend something higher than going and watching The Legend of Korra. It'll, it'll change your life. <laughs> I'm a dramatic guy, but I mean, I absolutely love that show. It's phenomenal. Okay. All of these little, little ball pieces, put them separately. Yeah. Just collecting it all together. You really got to get organized with these sets. Can't, can't be wasting time searching for pieces. I need to know where my pieces are. Straight away. Straight away. All right. What is, the, what is this talk about dog water? I don't understand. Like, like, like drinking dog water? Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't want to know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I, maybe I just stuck my neck in. Uh, maybe I don't want to know what dog water is. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, if it's something bad, then, uh, I don't know. Toe of Ultimate Doom, I make Transformers figures out of cardboard. Do you really? If you actually do, then uh, send me pictures. I would like to see those. That sounds pretty badass. Hmm. Yeah. What is, uh, what is everybody up to this week? What have they been getting up to this week? Has it been a busy one or is it a, a quiet lockdown kind of week? And if so, my thoughts are with you. Stay safe, stay strong. Lockdown will be over soon. The UK has just administered like 3 million jabs or something. Fantastic. They're really getting on with it. So that's really great to see. Really great. Botox water. Series 13 is hella sick. Yeah, I've got a Series 13 video coming out uh, just in a few days, and it was filmed by Bam Bam Productions. He made a diorama that is Halo Heroes Series 12 versus Series 13, and that diorama video will be coming out on my channel in a few days. It's gonna be a really exciting one, because um, like, whoa, Series 12 versus Series 13, and Bam Bam Productions of all people making it. Like, it's gotta be good. Gotta be good. 
It's bound to succeed. It's impossible to fail. My family was away more or less last week. Okay. The warlock looks beautiful. The the the, uh, the elite warlord is crazy because like he looks like a McFarlane figure. He looks so detailed for the, the size of him. It's it blows my mind. Now Mega Constructs just doing such wonders with their toys. Um, I I don't know. I I really hope like I can only imagine the amount of money that like me that like Mega Constructs will get from investors if Halo Infinite like really succeeds. Like I imagine it'll be an amazing time for them and. Mega Constructs, I mean, like, I always say, shout out to them for, like, just waiting for a new Halo game. Like, their sales must have just tanked year on year because there's been no new Halo game. They seem to have done well, and also, like, to be the kind of company that stays on store shelves. I know they have, like, a mix. Like, obviously, sometimes stores will not stock the product, and I don't think that's anything to do with Mega Constructs' fault. I think the, the, the company is like, what, you, you want us to stock this, this product of a game that's not been released for six years? You know, um, so I think Mega Constructs have actually done really well um, keeping it together, like keep, keeping that train going, like releasing new sets year after year. And now I really, I really wish them the best for Halo Infinite. I think they have the opportunity to like blow up in popularity. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. The Chieftain is cool, yeah. Mmm! That Xbox Productions, do you watch Cowboy Bebop? I love Cowboy Bebop, it's so great. Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Cam Campulu? Campulu? They, they, where, what, what's the theme song? It's like, three, two, one, go! It's so cool. Oh, I love Cowboy Bebop. I used to watch it a lot in China with my old flatmate um, on those long winter nights. They were fa it's a fantastic, fantastic show. Uh, people are finding the new Halo helmet sets in local Walmarts. Yeah, I know, I know, it's crazy. I should have uh, a set of those helmets on the way soon, um, which is wild. Those helmets look amazing. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting them in my hand personally, but I'm just worried that they kind of look a little like squashed inwards. Like they don't particularly look like circular helmets to me. It might just, it might just be me. Uh, we'll definitely have to just wait and see. Uh, and that rhymed. It definitely might be me. We'll just have to wait and see if the helmets look squashed. Oh, I, I've gone against what I was saying. I was going to make three of these at the same time. That's the better way of doing it. Um, I mean, we took so long sorting out all the pieces. So now we're going to start building. And yeah, we'll build three of them at the exact same time. Just to save time. Especially if, uh, if I finish today, if I finish at a good time that I might do another little haul unboxing video after this. It just depends what time I finish. Uh, currently we are on stage 61 and we are on an hour 55. And technically stage 61 to 73 are just the exact same thing three times. So um, we're, we're gonna make slow, but, but, but pretty, pretty quick progress. I don't know, we'll just see how it plays out. We'll just see, but thanks to everybody that's sticking with me. I wonder who's gonna make it till the end today. I don't think the UK people, I think the UK people might be able to make it today because I don't think we'll be going to like a crazy time. So I hope the UK people can also stick with me, but also if you need to go to bed, don't worry guys, we'll keep the stream alive without you. You'll, you'll live on in our memories while you sleep and, and dream about the live stream. <laughs> that's, the, that's the back and forth we got going on. Okay, where are these pieces? I don't see them. Hmm, ah, there they go. Okay, and 72 of you still tuning in. I, I love y'all, thank you so much for your support. ODST Productions, no, we didn't even get Series 12. The only latest one I found was eight. Oof, in Canada as well. I thought Canada was always uh, the king of stock because like Canada, like literally the mega constructs Oh, they closed that warehouse, didn't they? So maybe that's something to do with it. But the Mega Constructs office is in Montreal, so I always thought Canada was pretty peachy, eh? For those Mega Constructs uh, releases. Who knows? Yeah, so it may look strange right now, but we're just, we're building all three of these legs. So we may as well just build them. Oh, there we go. 
we may as well just build them at the exact same time. We have to just build them three times. So I'm just like directly doing the same thing three times, saves quite a lot of time because uh, we just don't have to, we don't have to build it so many times. Okay, one of those. Oh yeah, they, they lock the whole thing in a little tighter. These are quite loose, but they're, they're coming together now. And if you're just new to the stream, welcome. We are building the Defense Point Showdown. That's what it looks like so far. And now we're building the, the main legs and then we're gonna build the cannon. And then we're gonna go home. <laughs> I'm already home, you know what I mean. All right, then a couple more of these three pieces on the back. Ah, okay, I see. And then we're gonna get a load of these guys. A load of these like thick studs. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. Ah, and then right across the top. So did you, do you guys agree with me? Let me know in the comments, do you agree with me about my, my opinions of the, the, uh, the new Star Wars movies? Do you believe that like, all the, the Disney sequels were just sort of like, sort of ruining George Lucas's legacy and like making fun of all the old characters. That's what I think, but I know I know some people like them. So I would like, I would really like to hear people's opinions if they do actually really enjoy the new Star Wars movies. Cause uh, I know I'm pretty jaded on the issue now. All right, now we're gonna get this all banished. Gonna get this all red and mean. Let's get this completely decorated with red. Red for the banished. Red for anger and tyranny and fury. Oh, <laughs> he says as he just spins it out of control, loses the piece. There we go. Is that it? No, I just I just put that back together wrong, didn't I? Ah, did I? What just happened? I passed out. <laughs> I blacked out. Oh no, it's the other side. There we go. <laughs> I had no idea what happened then. There we are, okay. Hmm. I got no Halo heroes in Thunder Bay. Where is Thunder Bay? Hmm. Just don't straight up spam, yes. You've heard my moderators, please don't spam. If you spam, they'll just have to delete the comments because the spams upset people. Um, I, I, yeah, people, people, get, people get really upset when there's just like nonstop spam and they're trying to say something, so. Spam gets muted, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. There we go. I'd say sorry, but also maybe just don't spam. <laughs> there we go. All right. Thunder Bay is in Canada. Wow, Thunder Bay is an interesting, why is it called Thunder Bay? Get a lot of lightning strikes there or something? Okay, top that off. It's a... Uh... It's an interesting little piece we got going on. One, two, and three. Oh, okay. So they kind of like, it kind of like perches on there, but it can fold down. That's pretty nice. Nice little detail there. How's that halo music sounding? Yeah, pretty good. Let me know if you always, you can always let me know in the uh, in the description if you want the music louder. I mean, uh, that's that's a funny thing to say because of course Halo fans will always want their music louder. We love our Halo music. All right, pop them on all three and then round off the back as well. For an estimate, how many sets do you think you have? Um, sets is different from vehicles, I guess. Um, vehicles, you, you should have asked me how many vehicles I had like two years ago. I sold a lot of my duplicates literally because like practically I'm just going to keep on getting mega blocks. I can't, I can't have like endless duplicates, but uh, I sold a lot of my duplicates. Before then I would say I, I might've had uh, whew, a couple of hundred vehicles. I don't know, a lot. It was a, it was a lot. Uh, I, I remember the first time I showed uh, Peggy my collection in England, I had to like prepare her. I was like, just so you know, this is kind of crazy. There's a lot of them. Right. 
even the bottom of this now. So this is, this is definitely the way to do it. Definitely you should build all three at the same time. It just saves a crazy amount of time and also just like saves the boredom from both me and you guys. <laughs> You don't want to see me build these things three times. Also, that ray of light, that is like non-stop. It's so persistent. Go away. There we go. Maybe that's, maybe that's better. <laughs> that's, well, I made it smaller, marginally. It's funny, usually, because I do the live streams at the same time every week, and usually the beam of light, the great holy beam of light is not a big issue. Maybe it's because I um, just released a brute video and the brutes are the prophet's holy gods. So maybe maybe divine light is coming into the building. Now I've been like blessing Craig so much. Craig, this is Craig's light. Craig's divine light. You were asked and delivery. Oh dear. Is there is there some is there something going down? I'm on bag eight and nine. Liam Wadley. Yeah, Liam Wadley just building this thing alongside me. That's pretty funny. And then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these guys. Because we're building everything three times. We're tripling up on all this. And yeah, we just gotta pop them all on these banished pieces. I guess I gotta do this. Ay ay ay. Gotta do this like how many times? Six times. Oh dear. What I do for you guys, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I enjoy this much. I, I think I enjoy it as much as you guys enjoy it. I think it's like a, what do you call it? Mutually beneficial relationship? Something like that. Something like that. I don't want to build this on my own. I'd much rather build it on stream with you guys, supporting me, motivating me forward. Okay, is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. Okay. And then we just got to pop them all on. We got one. Two, three, we got four, five, and six. There we go. Not too shabby, ain't too shabby, eh? Three legs. And then we got the base for the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these. We gotta layer them to start off with. Uh, we got a two on each structure, so. One, two, three, four, five, and two, and six, and number six. Where's that piece? Hey, hey, don't be playing games with me now. Well, well, well. Well, well, oh, there it is. It was hiding. <laughs> Hide a leg. Okay. I was gonna say, have we got our first missing piece of the day? No, we have not. We just about avoided it. Okay. Hey, gotta do it so many times. All right, that's one. And that's two. Simon the Grunt. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Simon the Grunt, nobody wants that. Simon the Grunt. Um, I got my first UNSC vehicle a month ago. It's a Warthog. Nice. Was it the new Warthog Rally? Because that is an epic set. But there have been a lot of good Warthogs. Surprisingly, when you look at it, we've not had many green Warthogs throughout the years. They've all been like such a random amount of colors. That's why before the Warthog Rally, one of the most expensive sets on like eBay was the uh, Halo 4 Warthog, because it was actually the most game accurate Warthog we'd got in a long time. And then there was the... Um, Master Chief and Arbiter Warthog. I can't remember what that was called. Uh, the, it was the Warthog Run, essentially. But yeah, that was a, that was a huge set. But so it was so difficult to get your hands on after a while. So the Halo 4 Warthog didn't really lose its value because because uh, that was a hard set. There we go. Okay, we've got these little little support blocks. Let's get them all on. One and two. One and two. Okay, there's our legs. They're looking good. Is that it? No, 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 no. We've got a lot more. We've got these like, I don't even know what they are. I'm gonna call them like fusion coils for now because I feel like they're gonna have some kind of fusion coil relevance in the game. Uh, I'm calling this now that like, 
these things you'll be able to shoot and if you shoot them all you'll be able to blow up the actual turret that's what i think but i'm just one man who knows if i'm correct wow these things are like ah oh, there's so many that are facing down aren't they all facing down Oh no, I gotta have ones that are facing up and facing down. They look like these these look like they're all facing down, but clearly they're not. Or clearly they are. They really look like, oh there they are. They're over here. Okay. Got these ones facing up as well. So this is definitely a a uh, slightly monotonous part of it. I gotta like slowly Put all of these up the side and uh, you've got to make sure that they're the right ones because like look these are two different pieces one has the 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 stood facing down one has the stood facing up and you definitely can't confuse the two like they're very different pieces so i gotta make sure to do this correctly i don't want to rush this bit and then find out that i gotta take any part of it apart later that'll be a pain Pain in my torso. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let me know in the comments, guys. What is what is like the most enjoyable build you ever done? Like Mega Blocks or Mega Constructs? Like which build have you really enjoyed doing before? And let me know if the volume sounds better now. I just pumped it up a little bit. Who knows? Maybe it'll, maybe it'll sound better. But what is the most enjoyable build you've ever done? What what uh, what have you just genuinely enjoyed building? It's so easy to use the wrong ones. I just use that wrong stud. But that was an easy fix. The warthog. Cool live stream, dude. Thank you, Grace Sanzone. Welcome to the clan. If you're new to the channel, welcome. The music's perfect. Good. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just started a new song. Huh, nice. Starting like, um, this is our land or this is our home or one of those. I love all those. The, the Halo 3, like, rallying songs, you know, like, let's go finish the fight kind of stuff. They're all crazy cool. All right. I'm hoping I got enough of these little stud pieces. It seems like I'm missing some, but I, I think they're all there. I think I just can't see them very well. It's so hard to make out which one is which. There's like four different kinds at this point. There's like, uh, let me show you. There's these studs that face up, there's these studs that face down, and there's two of those, like uh, two studs on each side, two studs. And then there's ones that face up and down that are only one stud. So you've really got to try and <laughs> figure it all out as you go. Sounds easy. It kind of is, but it also kind of isn't. All right. Yeah, let's let's hear your suggestions. Um, yeah, the Pelican Inbound is a very satisfying build. And the Banshee Breakout, yeah, not a bad one either. Um, a mock of a Micro Scarab I made. Epic. I'd like to see that. PM me a message. Uh, PM me on Discord with the picture of your Micro Scarab, Wolfster. And the Scarab, wow, cool. I love the Scarab set. Tommy Boy! <laughs> Tommy Boy? Nice, nice stream, thank you. Uh, Simon, can I have a Series 11 Lang ODST? I actually gave a few Series 11 Lang ODSTs away the other day. Um, I don't have any more to give away, but I actually, I, I've been giving away quite a lot of Lang ODSTs. All right, just wanna make sure, yep, that's correct. I need the ones that face up now. And then the one that faces down. This is definitely like the, the slowest part of this build. Goodness me. It's like just so many of these little studs. Bear with me, fellas. We'll get there. We'll get to the end of this part pretty quickly. And then it'll all be sunshine and rainbows after that. I, I assure you. I assure you. It'll be quite peachy after that. Okay. That's another one done. That silver on and some red highlights, and there we go. That's another. Now we got two of those built. Pretty annoying pieces, but we're done. 
Okay, and we are just after two, we've passed two hours of the stream, and we're... We're feeling good, like we're, we're getting there, we're making good progress. I'm, uh, I'm pretty confident about uh, when we'll finish, and, and then maybe if we finish I'll do a quick little haul video afterwards. It just depends on the time, but I think we're making pretty good time right now. And you know, I, I always like, I finish a stream on a Sunday and then I'm like, ah, I just want to keep on streaming. It's so much fun. And actually that's like really funny, because like I never thought I would actually enjoy this so much. But here I am, I actually, actually have a great amount of pleasure doing this. And also helps build the channel, helps make us all closer as, as a, as a tight-knit community and team. Because we are definitely in this as a team, we're all team players here. And, uh, oh, it, that, 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 like, leads in funnily. If you want to be a team player today, uh, check out the pinned comment on this Discord chat. We're trying to make our Facebook group hit a thousand members today, and we're actually pretty close. Uh, let me see, let me see what we're on now. It's not totally out of the question that we might hit a thousand today. So if you want to help that growth, if you want to be a part of that, uh, we only, we need 32 more members on our Facebook group, which we could do. We could probably do that. So uh, check out the pinned comment and go uh, go head over to the Mega Constructs domain. It's an amazing custom built community where you can chat Halo Mega Constructs. Okay, there we go. We got these three, these three uh, plasma things. Covenant chat. Thank you very much. I, I'm happy you enjoy my streams. Um, welcome Curtis Warfield Jr. Thank you for subbing. Welcome to the community. And welcome back, Heavy Weapons Guy. I'm glad you got over your uh, technical issues. Thank you very much, Slat Mob, uh, for enjoying the streams. And Mega Motions, hello to you. Um, oh, if you want to send me a few customs, I love accepting customs. I always say when you, when like, when people want to send me stuff, don't ever send me stuff that's expensive. Don't ever send me stuff that you only have one of or any rare items because like. I'm definitely blessed enough with the Mega Constructs I have, but if you want to send me some customs, or even just a letter, any kind of fan mail, then uh, please do, because I'd love to, oh, any fan mail that I receive I open live on a video, uh, I've got a couple to un open really soon, and uh, yeah, I would love to do that, I would love to, uh, to engage with you there, just don't send me anything rare. <laughs> I did another rhyme, I'd love to engage with you there, just please don't send me anything rare. It's not a very good rhyme, but it still works. All right, plasma cannons, building these up, boys. And then we're on the home stretch, we're on the top cannon. And then we're good. Hashtag toilet grave mind. I, I don't understand toilet grave mind. I don't understand it. But I know that toilet grave mind was responsible for killing my Billy the Grunt and infecting him. So he's an enemy of the state now. He's an enemy of us all. But killing our Billy, turning him into a zombie. How dare you? How dare you, sir? Okay, not bad. These are really cool. You like put these uh, sort of slatty pieces on and then you angle them uh, completely away from each other here and then put one of these sort of radioactive uh, red plasma beams. I don't even know what to call, what to call them, but uh, whatever they are, you put them on and they look epic. And that's a finished one all three sides like that, looking really nice. But we've got two more to finish. And then, I don't know, maybe maybe that's it. Maybe that's the end of the legs. We shall see in just a second. It'd be pretty cool if it was. Then we could move on. Oh, look, the music died. Oh, it only just died, that's good. Oh no, it's still going. I don't know, it, it came in and out. Ah, uh, Jerry Houston, $5, my legend. Halo High Ground is one of my favorite builds. I have three, and I'm always looking for more. Maybe when I'm back in England, I'll hook you up with another High Ground, Jerry. Um, thank you very much for your support. You absolute legend, day in, day out. What a legend. What a legend. Look at those three. They're really cool. I like them a lot. Really nice. Thank you very much. All right. And then I guess we just pop them on the top of these. Uh, let's go for one. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Let's go for two. And number three. Oh yeah, so they, they very easily come off, but that's to be expected, because I think that's part of the 
the uh, the playability of it. So I, I'm calling this now. I think in the game, when you go and take out these turrets, you'll have to shoot this piece of the turret, it'll fly off and that leg will blow up. You have to do that three times while taking on waves of banished and once you destroy once you destroy all three legs then the turret is taken down. Turret take down. Okay. Are we gonna attach them now? That's the exciting bit. Yes we are! Let's go boys. Let's go. Alright. So how do we do it? <laughs> so how do we attach them? Ay ay ay. Does that actually go on properly? Or is that meant to hang off the end? Oh, I put it on the wrong side, that's why. Oh, oh, I see! So look, you put it on this side, and when you tap this slightly, pop, it pops it off. Nice. So, in the game, you'll shoot it, and pop, it'll pop off. That's a really nice playable feature. I love that. Good job, Mega Constructs. Always innovating with your designs. I totally had him on the wrong side. <laughs> I got too carried away. Got too excited. Put it on the wrong side. There we go. All right, that's all three legs. If you're new to the stream, welcome. We are building the Halo Defense Point Showdown. <laughs> I can't even see it. The Halo Defense Point Showdown. We are building this massive cannon and we are currently on stage 74. It's a big moment. We're going to insert these legs. Look at that. All right. So one, two, and three. Whoa, that's getting big now. Look at that. That's huge. All right. So we attach those legs and then we get these rods. These little rods here and we slot them in to sort of lock the legs in place. So you gotta make sure the rod goes through this hole, then through the hole of the leg. <laughs> he says, through the hole of the leg. There we go. All right, so the leg is sort of like attached by this rod and it's also really poseable, which is great because like, you don't just want a static leg. You wanna be able to pose it on your diorama, however you see fit. So it's definitely adding to like more posability there. Let's get the second one on. It's gonna get quite fiddly doing this. Okay. There we go, second leg locked in. And number three. Where's my third rod? There it is. Yo! There we go, boys. There we go. That looks so banished inspired. That's epic. And then the legs are sort of loose right now. Like loose, they sort of roll wherever they want. But when you put it down on the table, they lock into place. But also that gives way more flexibility. If you say you want to have like one of the legs on uh, like a rock or like sort of elevated slightly, it gives you way more flexibility. Good to see you in the stream, Ordic Sanietan. Yeah, it's good to see another one of the Domains videos. I'm in the mood to play some MCC right now. I'm going to be doing some live streaming and some game nights very, very soon. All I need to buy is a headset and then I'm good to go. So that will be coming, that will be coming very soon. I've just been like, you know, I can only sort out so many things at once and I've been getting these live streams going and then I'm going to be getting some real gameplay live streams going. And I, I really want to build like maybe a Twitch community. I want to build some kind of big live streaming community so when Halo Infinite comes out, like people know that I'm, I'm, I'm a Halo Infinite live streamer, you know what I mean? Like I want to be, I want to be up there by then. Again, uh, live streaming uh, gameplay is something I never thought I'd want to do, but you guys are just so epic that of, of course it's something that I want to do now. Um, I went I went back into this Halo community a little shy, you know, I was like, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I want to do all these different things, but uh, you guys are just so epic that, um, that I want to do as many kind of, as many kind of videos as I can. Like, I just want to branch out as much as possible. All thanks to your support, everybody. So thank you for that. Mm. So we are gonna build 
the main cannon, I guess. It doesn't specifically say, but it definitely looks like a cannon. So that's what we're doing. Hmm. Not actually much sorting to do with this. There's not actually a crazy amount of pieces, so I imagine this might fall together pretty quickly. I think a lot of it will just be like attaching all the main uh, long pieces together and then suddenly you'll blink and you'll miss it. We'll have ourselves a turret. Mm -hmm. Simon, is the water in Hong Kong good? Um, you shouldn't drink the water in Hong Kong, uh, but it was like anything built by the British is pretty good. Um, and Hong Kong's like water systems are definitely better than China. So I have like, like in China, you shouldn't even brush your teeth with the water. It's really bad. But in Hong Kong, like I would never worry about brushing my teeth with the water or anything like that. But I wouldn't really drink it. Uh, I still, but uh, we bought a water filter. We bought like a, a huge water filter that you attach onto your faucet. So it just dispenses uh, clean water. And it's actually very cheap. Um, it's only about like uh, 60 US dollars for like a year's supply of these filters and the actual filter itself. So it's not an issue. And it's definitely like back in the day when I, I lived in uh, Guilin in China. While I lived in China, um, I... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Lego Bricks 08. Yes, uh, my brother told me that you were in uh, a live chat with him on Xbox and he thought it was really cool to talk to you. He actually called me afterwards and says you said you won't guess what happened. I talked to, uh, to one of your guys on YouTube and he was really nice. So yeah, that was great. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I've just gone blank. That, that thought just escaped me. <laughs> Genuinely, I have no idea what I was just talking about. Um, you're catching up to me. Oh, I was talking about water filters. Yeah, well, water's good in Hong Kong. Um, what else are we talking about? Um, took some comments to get a response. It always does. There's a lot of comments here. I can only check so many times. I'm going to play the arm because the music makes me in the mood. Very nice. Um, I am getting my Series X in April. That's epic. That's epic. Um, I'm like... Yeah, I'm on the fence about... Uh... The Xbox Series X. I think I'll definitely get the Series S, but it's just like, I don't know, I'm so cautious about the Xbox now. Because, uh, and really the only thing that's made me cautious is Cyberpunk 2077. Because that released so half-baked on old gen consoles, I'm very worried about just having my original Xbox and trying to play Halo Infinite. I've always said from the beginning, Microsoft is making a mistake developing Halo Infinite for both old and new gen. I know that it's a real shame that like some people can't afford Xbox, like the new Xbox. I can't afford the new Xbox, like it is a real shame, but you can't release this new gen experience that's meant to be this massive open world. You can't just release that on old Xbox that's like six years old. How is it gonna run? Like there's no way it's gonna run well. So I, I, I think that Microsoft should have taken the leap by now, taken the bad press and just said, we're really sorry guys, we cannot release Halo Infinite on Xbox original because it's just not gonna operate properly. It's gonna be the same as Cyberpunk 2077. People are gonna buy it on old Xbox and it's gonna be unplayable. So that's my issue right now. I was not gonna buy an Xbox Series S or Series X at all, but now that I saw how badly uh, the Cyberpunk 2077 ran, I'm probably gonna have to buy a Series S to play uh, Halo Infinite. Uh, the other problem is that I want Halo Infinite on day one, but at the same time, you can, um, you can, I think Halo Infinite's gonna be the same as Cyberpunk 2077, where if you buy a copy, you can play it on the original Xbox, and then if you want, if you buy a new Xbox, you can also just play it on that. If that's the case, then I'll probably buy Halo Infinite on day one on the original Xbox, fire it up, if it's just not very good, then I'll go out and buy an Xbox Series S. Or I might even wait to see like videos comparing the gameplay of Halo Infinite on Series S versus Series X, because I think there might even be a difference there. So there's a lot of uh, thinking to be done about this issue.
Okay, I think that's right. Um, I want to make sure I pop that on correctly, yeah. We've got the very start of the turret. I imagine it's just going to like... Yeah, I can't get the camera right. I imagine it's just going to extend right up into the air, which I'm really excited about. But we will see. We will see. Let us see what happens, boys. Let's see what happens. Okay, what else is going on? Uh, do you want me to send you a picture of my custom building I made from the builder's box? I would love to see that. I want to get a Halo exclusive Xbox. Yeah, that's the other thing. Is there going to be a Halo Infinite exclu exclusive Series X or S? And the thing is, if there was an exclusive, wouldn't we have seen it, like, even before Halo Infinite got delayed? I don't know how these things work. And I, I also think that maybe they were thinking about... I, they were probably considering delaying Halo Infinite for a long time. So maybe they, they delayed on even showing the, uh, the exclusive Halo Xbox. But the thing is as well, it's like you can't, you can't release these things without uh, it getting leaked first. And like surely we would have got uh, an Xbox, a Halo Xbox Series X leak. Um, I don't know. And in terms of like uh, Halo exclusive Xboxes, I really like the idea. However, I, I bought a pack of stickers on eBay, Master Chief Collection stickers. And they went on my original Xbox and they still look phenomenal five years later. And it looks like an exclusive Xbox. And anytime somebody sees it, they're like, dude, where did you get that exclusive Xbox? So I don't know, the stickers cost about maybe like $5 compared to like another couple of hundred dollars for, a, for a, an exclusive Master Chief Xbox. So that might be just the route I go down again. I might just get some stickers again. And I'll make it into my own exclusive Xbox. How about that? I also, uh, I went downstairs in my building the other day and uh, people throw things out in the building all the time, but they put them next to the door as sort of like an open donation thing. I actually, I put these by the door all the time with a little post-it note saying like Lego brick separators. And um, people always, oh look, that's actually autofocusing now. That's fun. It wasn't doing it before. Um, so I put these by the door all the time and like let people just take them. And people take them immediately, so I think they're probably quite popular. But anyway, it's like just this free for all where like if you go downstairs and there's something there, you can take it. And the other day, there was a toy claw machine um, and I took it. And my plan is that I'm gonna make a Halo inspired claw machine. Um, and what is going on here? This doesn't look right. This doesn't look right. Huh. Maybe, uh, maybe it goes there. Yeah, that was not obvious, but yeah, it was one stood too far along. Um, the Simon exclusive Xbox. Yeah, stickers are just epic. Stickers are the way to go. Look at that. That's also epic. That's our cannon. That's our cannon, boys. Ready for combat. I'm also really pleased with the microphone quality of this stream. The microphone was so bad in the last stream. It was, I felt so sorry for people listening. And I do apologize. Uh, there we go. All right, we're fleshing out this cannon. Uh, I always, always big fan of these pieces. These threes, these like sort of right angle three piece long, uh, three piece long, no, three piece angled. I don't even know how to say that but the three pieces, and I definitely just put them on the wrong way around. <laughs> yeah, mom. In fairness, I've gone probably like quite a few steps without making a mistake, so it's not that bad. Oh no, wait, no, I just made a mistake previous. I, I just explained that I made a mistake. <laughs> oh well. Okay, there we go. Cannon, baby. It's a cannon. Where do you shop for Halo Mega Bloks? Um, it's the, probably the most frequently asked question I get and I have a number of sources. The number one I was using back in England recently was just Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace, if you just search, like once a day, I would actually advise. Wake up in the morning, do a quick search, only for like 10 seconds. If there's nothing new, close it down. And like, I just did that uh, every day for a while, just searched Halo Mega Block, Halo Mega Block, Halo Mega Block. And then there was this one woman who listed uh, her box of Mega Blocks as Halo Mega Black or Maga Block, Maga Block. So it didn't come up on the search engines properly. 
uh, but I found it and uh, I bought an enormous tub of stuff, including a pelican and loads of other things for only like 20 US dollars. So that was an epic haul. It also included a, an anti-air gun. Um, what else? It had a phantom. Oh, it had so many things. Uh, I actually sent that phantom to Jerry Houston, who's in the chat right now. How about that? Circle of life. Okay. Do you remember Sam the Homeless Cat? He was a legend. He was the legend on the Halo uh, Pelican live stream. And uh, he also donated a lot on Super Chats because he, he was just a legend. He was just like donating $2 at a time, just loads of times. It was pretty fun. All right, we're really bulking this thing out now. It's looking epic. And just making it really, really thick around the top. And so many of these studs, so many. So clearly we're gonna be able to layer a lot of random things on top of this. Hmm, very cool. Okay, then we got a then we got a weird thing at the end here. Still been here since the beginning. Epic. Epic, epic, epic. I think it's supposed to counter the pelican, but it's so small compared to it. We need the phantom. Yes. Yes, the phantom was all uh, yeah, Jerry Houston, yeah, the phantom was awesome. Welcome back, Rod Carl. How are you doing today? How are we all doing? If you if you've been away for a while or you're new to the stream, we're building the Halo Defense Point Showdown, and we are doing really well so far. We're on two and a half hours. And we're building this boy up, up and up and up, up and up and up. And we're building a very strange thing at the end right now. I think some of these pieces were from the original bags. Not sure. Okay. Oh, they, oh, they even, even more pieces. Oh, so there's even more different pieces. I've never seen these ones before. Just like the angled stud, but it's also got a flat top to it, which is really nice. I actually have never seen those before. I don't think so, anyway. Maybe they were in the skiff intercept, I'm not sure. There we go, we built this nice little back piece. It's gonna lock in there. And there we go. There we go, boys. There we go. Uh, if you're still in Hong Kong, can you answer this? Can you use US dollars there? You can't use US dollars like generally, but you can change them at like a billion different uh, currency changing stations. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Guys, uh, hit me up in the chat with your questions about Hong Kong. Let me know. And ask me any questions about either Hong Kong or China. And I'll answer as many as I can. Look at all this translucent bricks here. Gorgeous. Very nice. All right, so ask me any questions about Hong Kong. And I would love to answer some of them. I've lived here now for over a year, but I've lived in Asia for almost five years now. Ah, oh, it's been a good five years. It's been a very good five years. There we go. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, Lord Colin. Very well indeed. Is the food good or bad? The food is incredible. Incredible. Not only can you buy basically like any food in the world here, like it's, there's, there's every food available, but also the Hong Kong food is outrageously nice. All right, we've got these turret firing mechanisms there. And um, yeah, they, they, have, uh, they have a big diner culture here, like eat in diners and they're so much fun. And their, their food is pretty, pretty sloppy, but <laughs> It's, uh, it's like questionable quality sometimes, but like it's so amazing. They have incredible street food. They have dim sum here. So many different kinds of dumplings and cured meats and oh, everything you could ever imagine. Um, we're actually trying to stop eating meat at the minute, but it's so difficult in Hong Kong. There's so much good food. Uh, is it beautiful? It's just unquestionably beautiful. Um, I, I'll, I'll show you guys, you know. Um, I think I could probably easily show you. I'm, I'm thinking how difficult it would be, but I don't think it would be that difficult. Uh, let me just, I'm not gonna move the iPhone, but I'll show you uh, just how beautiful Hong Kong is right now. Uh, I'll have to disconnect the iPhone, but never
turn it back on. There we go. Nice. That was not actually that difficult. Do you still have your house in England? Well, I mean, it's just my parents' house. I've never owned a property in England because I, I moved to Hong Kong. Well, I moved to Asia pretty much immediately after graduating. So uh, I've never owned property in England. I will one day. Yeah, I was probably muted uh, because the, the sound comes through the iPhone, but I still just showed you. Um, is Hong Kong big? Hong Kong's pretty huge, actually, yeah. And Hong Kong is actually like, it's crazy. There we go. It's crazy how diverse Hong Kong is. Like, you can find every single kind of environment in Hong Kong. We have wetlands, we have enormous mountains, we have hundreds of beaches, hundreds of islands. Uh, you can go to, like, Kowloon, which is the mainland, where you can experience, like, Old Town Hong Kong and, like, proper Chinese society. Or you can, like, go to the main Hong Kong island and you can just, like, be lost in, like, rich, like, metropolitan kind of, like, New York lifestyle, um, then, like, oh my goodness, there's, there's, uh, there's so many places to go in Hong Kong. We haven't explored a fraction of it, and we go hiking, like, every single weekend, like, we always try and explore, um, which is all, all these things are things I want to share with you guys more, um, I just, I, I should just do it more, I should just, like, live stream, like, on hikes and just, like, interesting things, um, or just, like, just show you more of Hong Kong. It's, it's one thing that I, I, I do admit that I, I don't do enough of is like, well, travel blocks, but then also just like general vlogs around Hong Kong, just like showing you the general atmosphere there. Um, does my micro pelican count? If so, three. Three, ho three pelicans, jeez. How and why did you move to Hong Kong? Uh, it's a great question, question from da Xbox Productions. So I lived in mainland China for two and a half years. And it was a wonderful experience. I love China so, so very deeply. But um, there wasn't much room to grow there in terms of like, you can't really get employment past being a teacher. And also uh, the firewall is very intense. They say maybe like 95% of the internet is blocked in China. So like, there's no Facebook, there's no YouTube, there's no Instagram or Google or anything. And a lot of those apps I don't care about, but like, I was losing contact with my family, and I also couldn't do anything on YouTube while I was there. Oh, welcome to the gang, Robert Martinez. Welcome, thank you for subscribing, really appreciate uh, you joining us. We're currently building the Defense Point Showdown, which is just this massive turret, and we're, we're making really good progress. We're currently on stage 92, so we are getting there, we are really getting there. Um, so yeah, I, I was living in China, but there wasn't much space to grow. I spent half a year in Vietnam, and then... But Vietnam is also just like, sort of, uh, happy-go-lucky, sort of wavy sort of lifestyle. So, I moved to Hong Kong to start my YouTube channel properly, start a couple of side businesses, and like, really, really make an impact here. Um, oh, we need the next bags! We're on to the next bags already! The last bags! Bags 11 and 12, guys. We're doing really well today. I'm getting back into Mega Constructs as Charles Wiggins. Because of you. Thank you so much. Uh, just have, just want to say I love your videos. And have you ever considered buying Game of Thrones sets? I got the dragon. It was a cool build. I would like to. Basically, I would like to just because of the build. And also maybe the new uh, members, new subscribers that like doing Game of Thrones content might bring. But other than that, um, I never watch Game of Thrones, which um, everyone always says is crazy because like I have the I have the nerdy sort of like everyone's like, what, you're a nerd and you haven't watched Game of Thrones? No, I never I never bothered with it, but I would uh, like, I don't know, maybe I'll watch it in the future. It's just kind of too, there's just too many episodes to like get into it now. And it's also just so dark that like it's not something I want to binge. I want to like watch like honestly more like comedic shows at the minute. I just want to like, uh, I want to enjoy my downtime. I don't want to be watching Game of Thrones, but I would really like to get that Drogon and uh, it would also be cool to get the Winterfell set. Um, so there are some, there are some on my radar. Um, if they ever did like sort of like, I think they sell mini dragons. Uh, I would like to pick some of those up. I would like to get a couple more of the, uh, the Pokemon sets, honestly. 
The Domain says, Matty, do you think the NMPD Pelican should have more figures? I think so. I think it would look nice with more. Plus, I'm getting another NMPD Pelican, so I am. Um, so I'll just have two. Um, you'll have two NMPD Pelicans. Send one to me. <laughs> Come on, Matty. We're good friends. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Um, yes, the NMPD Pelican. Uh, it should probably include some more figures. It was like uh, the NMPD Pelican, fun fact, was unveiled for the very first time at Bloxfest. That was a worldwide premiere of that set at Bloxfest. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I love it, but I also, I've never got it. Um, I was offered it just before I moved to China, but I had to save my money to get to China. So I turned it down um, and I, it's on my radar. The, the number one is uh, the spirit dropship. Everyone is like, what even happened to that set? Everybody wants it. There was a kid on our, there was a kid on the Mega Constructs Domain Facebook group, which you can see the link pinned on this uh, channel, on this chat. And he actually um, had two and he just posted them. Just super flexing, like, oh man, two of them. Imagine having two spirit dropships. All right, um, are you done yet? Gosh, Tower of Ultimate Doom, is that aimed at me? <laughs> Simon, will you marry your girlfriend? Mm, she's in the other room. I think I'd, I'd very much like to. Very much like to, my friends. Definitely. Um, Simon, Halo Combat Evolved or Halo 3? Halo 3, my boy. Halo 3. Um, I love Halo 3 so much. It was the game I grew up with the most. And uh, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing game. Um, I'll answer a few more questions about Hong Kong if you have any. Yeah, I didn't really watch it either. I just like the way it looked. Also, I have some of the smaller dragon sets in the Battle for Winterfell. Yeah, the Battle for Winterfell looks amazing. Um, he should see Naruto. It has over 600 episodes. I know, I know Naruto never ends. I really want to get into Attack on Titan. Um, I just saw that they, they're they exclusively showing the last series on Netflix in Asia. Uh, also, Netflix Asia is very different from the rest of uh, Netflix. We still have friends on, on Netflix Asia. Like, we still watch friends. I know that was taken down a year ago now. Uh, but if you have a VPN, you can still watch friends on Netflix Asia. You heard it here first, folks. Although Netflix is actually quite, uh, quite strict on blocking uh, people uh, using VPNs. Like, they, they really don't like VPNs. Look at how this is coming together now. Whoa, what a beast. How long have you been playing Halo? I started playing Halo probably, um, I started playing Halo when Halo 3 came out. So I don't even know how long ago that was now. A long, long time, buddy. A long, long time. Been the only game in my life, really. I mean, I, I've, I, oh, have I just built this wrong? What's going on here? Whoa. This looks strange. This is not... Oh, let's let's take these apart and see see where we went wrong for a second. This piece separator really saves my teeth. Oh no, did I just flick something off there? Gotta be careful not to lose any of these little pieces. All right, what's going on here? What did I do? What did I do wrong? Let's take a couple of stages back and see what happened. Goodbye, ODST1417. Thank you for tuning in. Simon, uh, when you decide to marry her, you better get a house with her. Um, I want yeah, I, I want a little cottage in England, my friend. I want a little cottage where we can hide away and make Halo videos. <laughs> Uh, honestly, my, my, my number one aim uh, in terms of like videos is um, I want to become uh, self-reliant uh, in terms of like making content. Uh, the, the, problem, the problem with the, the world right now is you can have a job, as we've learned from just the last few months, you can have a job and then uh, you can just lose it overnight and that's just kind of tough love. Um, so I really want to get some kind of support structure for myself and Peggy where we uh, where we can work remotely and have a have a good time doing it. Um, I've seen so many oh no these are just <laughs> I'm just getting notifications saying I need to pay bills boys don't worry that's all. <laughs> um, but yeah um, finding remote work uh, and something slightly off the grid is uh, is really good for the future. So 
that's that's me. I'm gonna gonna really try and push for these this this YouTube. Uh, I think we're we're in the position now where together, because it is a it's a team effort for sure. Together we can we can build this channel to legendary heights, legendary heights, and with that uh, secures a a future of the domain forever. You know, um, like. Is the thing you want it? You you want to see these videos forever? These videos will be forever as long as you just uh, you really help out. Uh, f laying the ground works right now. Like anytime you see a video, just like, subscribe, comment, share it. Like these all these all help. Uh, if if you don't know anything about the YouTube algorithm, it controls people's lives. But it also like if you if you work to the YouTube algorithm, if you like if all your content is like super engaged all the time, then um, you can you can have a really good time with it. Um, oh, Olipad just figured out that his uh, grandma passed away. I'm so terribly sorry about that, my friend. We're all here for you, all of us, as one community. PM me on Discord if you want to chat about it. I'm, uh, I'm always here for a good old chat. Um, so, that would be nice. I love these long slopes, so do I, Toa. Like, look at that. That's so cool. You just pop them on. They lock this thing off really nicely, really nicely. Do you have Netflix? Yeah, I, I got Netflix. Every, everybody in the modern age needs Netflix. Uh, I, my parents pay for it, actually. Um, it, it's one of those things, if you can convince your parents it's a really cool thing, then they'll pay for it. <laughs> uh, family accounts are a great thing. Um, and a couple of my friends use the family account as well. Don't, don't tell my parents. It's but yeah, it's, I don't know, put that on wrong. But yeah, it's uh, Netflix, I mean, goodness me. It's very easy in life to uh, sort of lose track of where you came from and the progress made. My God, I mean, can you imagine pitching the idea of Netflix to one generation ago? It's wild, like the progress we've made with like streaming is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Like you have, just suddenly out of nowhere, you have an infinite, infinite volume of shows and movies. You, you cannot watch it all in a lifetime. And that's a, that's a pretty wild thing. Pretty wild thing. I'm not saying you should watch uh, Netflix all the time. You need to go outside. But, uh, oh well, unless you're in lockdown. <laughs> but then I guess Netflix keeps you company. All right. We are, honestly, we, we're, getting, we're getting really far along with this thing. Really far. I'm getting kind of hungry. I'm thinking about lunch. <laughs> but, okay, is that... Right, yes, five of those. So we, we attach that there. And then one more here. And, oh, cool. And then another one going down here. Wow, cool. That is, uh, wow, that is pretty sleek. Pretty cool. And then this huge one here overlays slightly. There we go. Whoa! What are you doing to me, turret? This is epic. So cool. Let's do the other side. Oh no, we're still gonna finish off this side. Hmm. I can feel the end in sight, boys. I don't think this is gonna be a, a stressful stream. The pelican inbound. Oh my goodness, that was so stressful. Um, building that took an absolute lifetime. Surprisingly, like, well, not surprisingly, I guess. Building the Pelican inbound took way, way more time than building the UNSC Infinity. But I built the UNSC fin Infinity with Peggy sat by my side and um, we built it up in no time. So it was, uh, it's, it's to have one person, cause like we literally oriented, look at that. That is, that is gnarly, that's so cool. Um, yeah, just that like pops in there and like angles perfectly upwards. Woof, so cool. Uh, Big Yosha, if you if you are looking to donate, there's a, a thing on the chat called supers. You can see like a little dollar symbol, I think. And uh, you can just follow the steps through there. You don't have to, don't feel any pressure to, but it's always there. And do you plan on having kids? I would love to have some little boys and then my little boys will be Halo nuts. Yeah. Um, I do also think that like it's really important when you have a kid to bring them up well in terms of respecting technology. 
Like when my kid uh, grows up, at the start he'll only be given a Game Boy Color. Once he's learned how to use that, he'll be upgraded to like a Game Boy Advance. He won't get a phone until he's pretty old. And like honestly, it's all just about how you how you how you raise your kid. Like I think you can raise them to respect that. Um, but I, I I will not be having my kid like goodness me the damage. Uh, from being like a kid and just staring at a screen all day every day like you have to disconnect You have to get off your phone and do something else with your time truly, uh, but don't get off your phone just yet finish this stream first <laughs> oh, That's funny. Okay This is stuff. Oh, this is such a weight to it as well. Really cool. Yes. I guess this is gonna be like Oh no what is that? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh boy! Let's hope that drip, that let's hope that banging doesn't last long. Okay, there we go. Other side, locking that off nicely. Tartarus is outside. Yeah, he wants in. He wants in. Um, wow. Wow, so you, uh, Siren Wynn, um, Grandpa woke up uh, after two hours and, wow, um, yeah. Saying goodbye to family members is very important. It's Hyperius, yes, Hyperius is knocking at the door. It's Halo coming to break in and take you, oh no. Quick housework, I know, um, I'm, I'm nervous now because the other day there was some huge drilling that happened um, so let's really hope that drilling doesn't come back. This Banished logo, super cool. And we slap that right on there. Okay, um, it's about time we switch up the music, fellas. Let me know, do you want ODST, Reach, 2 or 3? They're the ones I've got. 2, 3, ODST or Reach. Let me know which you want in the live chat and I'll pick one for the next soundtrack. Let me know. You can also choose Halo 3 again if you want. Hey, look at that, $99, uh, $99, 99 cents from Big Yosha. Thank you very much, sir. Big Yosha, let me know in the chat if you would like anything shouted out or if you'd like any, any uh, anything in particular, would you like to make a request? Um, Halo 3, 3, Reach, ODST, baby. Hmm, Halo 3, Halo 2, Halo Reach. I think it's time for some, I see everyone saying Halo 3. Uh, there's a lot of twos. I'll go for Halo 2. It's about time. Let's, uh, let's fire up Halo 2. Okay. Bring Halo 2 up. There we go. Halo 2 coming on. You guys just had Halo 3. <laughs> we'll let Halo 2 play and in, like... 15 minutes, we'll vote for another one, and maybe Halo 3 will, uh, maybe Halo 3 will win. Look at that. Whoa. Massive. Massive cannon. Okay, and now you can all stop spamming. Hyperius is Craig, and his origin is when he attacked Master Chief. Master Chief let him go, and then Craig ran. But he wants revenge now, because Master Chief killed his partner. Oh no. Okay, I think these must be spare cannons that I lock off at the bottom here. There we go. Hmm, spare cannons. Mm-hmm, very nice. Remember we're building some kind of base here. Ah, there it is. Okay, we've got this funny piece, and we're gonna slot that in here. Oh, snapped it off.
at least that construction work is finished. So we don't have to worry about that for now. And yes, there we go. Okay. Little flappy bit, little flap. Very nice. Welcome everybody, if you're new to the stream or if you're just tuning in or if you've been here the whole time, shout out to you. We are building the banished, I was, I was gonna say UNSC Covenant, no, it's banished defense point showdown, this massive Mac cannon. We're building this live, we're feeling great. We're currently just about to hit the three hour mark. And also, if you can see the Facebook page or the Facebook group that's pinned right now, that's what I'm shouting out today. It's our amazing Facebook community called the Mega Constructs Domain. It's just about hit 970 members, so we're only 13 members away from a thousand. Now this, this is shut up so fast and the Mega Constructs Domain is actually the Facebook group that you can have the chance to be featured on this YouTube channel. At the end of every month, I collate all of my favorite posts from the Mega Constructs Domain Facebook group, and I put them all into a YouTube video. So if you would like to be featured on this channel, you just have to follow that link in the comments, go over to the Mega Constructs Domain, post something fun. It can be anything this month. We've got no theme, whatever you want to post, and I'll pick some of my favorites to be featured in a video at the end of the month. How about that? Okay. This is a very strange build. I guess these are two pieces that need to go here. Okay, we're like building up this weird study bit. It's got these ball joints, so it's clearly gonna like lock into this somehow, so these can move about. I'm not sure how yet. Oh, and please do not spam, Nancy Almanza. You will be muted if you spam. That's just how it goes here. Uh, people don't like spam. Okay. And then we've got another one here. Oh no, maybe not. Did I build it wrong? No, no, I didn't. No, no, no. We're good, we're good. False alarm, boys. False alarm. It's funny to be talking non-stop, checking the stream and building. You kind of lose track of what's going on. So <laughs> I can accidentally build it wrong sometimes. My bad. Okay, there we go. Very interesting, whatever this is but we're locking it off with a flat, flat piece at the top. There we go. And a little piece at the bottom there. Looking very nice indeed. Okay, no idea what this is, but only time will tell. And there we go. So we're gonna place that inside of the turret, he says. There we go, there, nice. All right, that's definitely to insert into the base. That's epic. I hope it like can swivel around really freely. I'm not sure what the posability of this thing is, but we will we will see. We just finished stage 105. And oh shoot, it's pretty much done. We're on the home stretch, boys. All right, uh, I'm gonna finish this early today, so I'll definitely fire up for a second quick live stream after this one. But let's finish this Defense Point Showdown off with a bang. Let's go out with a bang, boys. Let's do it. Oh no. Is that drilling? Oh no. Oh no, I can hear the drilling starting. Oh no. All right, there we go. We've got this. Oh no, there we go. We got this here. We're gonna pop that in. Very nice. All right. Then one here and one here. And then these two at the back here. Wow. These little, just, just red little antennas, I guess. Red little studs. Okay. And then just one of these, thought it was two, but just one. We need, ah, tiny little silver. Oh. Uh, where are you going? Tiny little silvers. Uh, very nice. And ah, that's it. So we insert this rod down here. <gasps> I'm gonna have to see how loud that sounds on the stream. So, rod. oh, that fell off. Rod here. And then the cannon inside here. 
Whoa! Whoa! Look at that! That's the cannon! And it spins right round very freely. Look at that. Whoa! That's the cannon! Yeah, that the constriction noise is the cannon charging. Absolutely. Whoa! That's the cannon, boys! Then we insert these two rods in. Number one, number two. They can fire nicely. Pa! Pa! There we go. Oh, mate, that, that drilling is actually quite loud. I'm listening to it on stream. I'm, like, listening to myself on stream. And that sound. Oh, that's streamception, baby. <laughs> and uh, that sounds pretty loud. Look at that. That, that noise is literally the cannon. That must just be the cannon charging up. Whoa. We finished, boys. We finished. And we're clocking that at three hours. Pretty much three hours exactly. We took a few minutes break, so that is exactly three hours, more or less. Thankfully, the cannon, uh, thankfully the cannon has stopped firing for a while. We're just going to insert... Oh, there it comes. It's coming back again. Okay. Get that assault rifle scope on. Okay. And then we've got the flashbang here. There we go. That's our marine built up nicely. And the cannon. So guys, I guess what I'm probably gonna decide today is this this is probably gonna be the last live stream for the day. Because the last time this drilling started, it was going for a long time. So I'll leave it for about half an hour. If the street if the drilling actually completely stops, then I might do another small live stream. But it's probably that's probably gonna be this live stream for the day. It's lucky that that drilling only just started, to be honest. There we've got the marine in the mongoose, and then our Hyperius and Grunt. What was he called? What's his name? Grunt something. Grunt Assault. Yeah, it's an Assault Grunt, okay? And then, of course, we can't forget about the Master Chief himself, 117. Very nice, very nice. There's our figures. Wow. Awesome, guys. We built the Defense Point Showdown. We built the Defense Point Showdown. So I'll, I'll take some answers for a little while and see if the drilling has just subsided. But there's our Defense Point Showdown. We've only gone and done it. We've only gone and done it. Look at that. Okay, so the turret itself, I mean, fantastic. It also has these really nice playable features, these plasma sort of charges at the back that if you shoot on each of the legs, they like pop off. So I definitely think that's some kind of playable feature that's going to be used in Halo Infinite. And yeah, I'm, oh man, I'm super impressed with this thing. The build was very satisfying. It's got just the right amount of printed detailings, especially these banished logos on either side of it. Then it swivels very nicely, quite aggressively actually, all the way around. It fires its cannons from the front and it perfectly utilizes all these translucent red bricks that run all the way through. Makes it definitely feel like there's some charging plasma involved. And this banished cannon is epic. Absolutely epic. And Really, I don't know where to go with this now because that drilling has stopped. So we might be okay to uh, for me to show you this haul video, but I don't want to start the haul and then it just have like non-stop drilling throughout. So um, first of all, guys, let me know in the comments, how bad was the drilling when you heard it? Uh, and would you rather I just continued with another video and just dealt with the drilling as it comes. Uh, let me know. Um, <laughs> Hugo Hernandez. When you show your girlfriend the ring, she will show it to everyone in her family. 
then she'll put it on her social media. That's a fair, fair good warning. Big Brains Productions. Simon should make a custom Halo ring for Peggy. <laughs> Uh, I've actually seen a lot of those on the internet. There are some uh, there are some Halo collectors that have made like uh, custom engraved Halo engagement rings. They look amazing. Um, okay, my first live stream that I watched from the start to the end. I'm so happy. I'm happy you were here, Lego Break Zero Eight, Matty. When I'm finished the NMPD Pelican Thruster tomorrow, could I send you some pictures? Absolutely, I would love to see that. Uh, what drilling? Good, good answer. What drilling? There was some. There was some like drilling next door. I don't actually think it was that bad. So what I'm going to do, because the drilling's not starting again, so I think I'm just going to end this live stream and then start another one. Like, why not? Uh, the next live stream will only be half an hour long, so you should definitely check it out. And I'm just going to be showing you one of my most recent hauls, a box that I received the other day, um, and maybe I'll open a few blind bags, that kind of stuff. So it's bye for now, but hello again in about five minutes time. I might change up the camera angles, I might change up the, the presentation a little bit, but I'll only be gone for about five minutes and then I'll be back with a brand new live stream where I'll be unboxing a haul. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for all your support and I'll see you in the second. <laughs> the drilling starts just as I say that. Oh no. All right, well, whatever, whatever. Come rain or shine, we'll deal with it. I'll see you in five minutes. Peace out.